It sounds like one of those like Tumblr writing things where they're talking about fix and they're like, Canon! Exclamation point. Yeah. Box club. <laughs> Question mark? <laughs> Sorry. Hi. Can you see me? Okay. Give me a minute here to just. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Okay. This is. I have, I have the recording set up now, so I can go a little bit over mine. Okay. Um, so I'll, I'll jump back in front. Alejandra, um, she Alejandra. she was Ali Alejandra. Um, <laughs> it just plays in my head every time I hear it. <laughs> it's my hands long doing stuff. Um, she was kind of like um, Aurora. Um, Aurora. Remind me your name, Aurora. I don't have my notes. Aurelia. 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 As Aaliyah? <laughs> yep, here she is. She made it into the new world. <laughs> <laughs> She's still a bitch, and I'm just kidding. She fucked off so hard she found a high school. She's been there, <laughs> It's all an undercover <laughs> mission. <laughs> um, but she she used to be one of uh, the kind of the in crowd. She was um, she was on like the cheerleading team. She was involved in student government. She kind of was one of those people that was nice to everybody. But, um, and then she stopped being when she got her powers, which is where I'll get to one of you guys in a second, but once she inherited her power, she became more distant. Nowadays, she's more of like a, more of a loner. She's kind of testy. Um, Ooh, so. That's fun. You know. Why aren't you behaving now? You were behaving a second ago. What about you, Ken and Foxglove? <laughs> 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 yeah, Cannon. Are you the only boy in this party? Am I? I guess I am. <laughs> That'll work out. <laughs> I don't work out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a nerd, effectively. Uh. Yeah, no, I'm a nerd. Oh my god, just go where you're supposed to go. Just... I don't know where I'm supposed to go. No, not you. <laughs> the, this. Despite being 17 or 15 to 17, I have an ancient face. No, I don't. Uh, <laughs> what? Go with a stern face. A stern, <laughs> stern face? Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. You've got those okay. anime eyes that are really small and scary. <laughs> are you <laughs> really small constantly scary? adjusting what his glasses? To my map? <laughs> what did you do? Um, um, you, you, can, you can click it and drag it out. And yeah, you can. I exported it as a map for this size, and it didn't do that again, which is stupid. Okay, well, I don't need it. Okay, that's annoying. Let's. You usually always have to grab and drag it out to the roll 20 dimensions. Roll 20, would you just get good? Unfortunately. <laughs> So you're a nerd with scary eyes. Yeah, what am I right? <laughs> what am I, you, and, uh, do you want the scary eyes? Like, I'm, I'm trying to write down what you guys look like. <laughs> Should we go, oh, what's his name? From, uh, oh, the boy, or, or on host, or host club. Oh, um. Ikozawa? Takashi? Yeah. The really tall, big one. Mori? <laughs> Mori. Yeah. yeah, I think so. <laughs> the scare, the tall one that never talks and has a stern yes. face. Okay. Yeah, Rory's <laughs> Rory's okay. Okay. I like it. With uh. Oh. Hmm. Some. Prep your clothes. Prep your clothes. I will note there is technically a uniform to the school. But parents can pay to uh, waive that. My, my parents <laughs> like, wouldn't have, but I'm not following the dress code. <laughs> there's like a casual clothes tax, and it's gotten so it's gotten to the point that people just assume that if you're not in uniform, you've paid it. Cool. Cool. <laughs> so. Oh man, no rules in this place. I, oh, there's rules. It's just they 
pride themselves on allowing young students to express themselves. Creative freedom. Oh, I, did, I haven't changed my name. I should change my name. I forget how to do that. You know, you're allowed to express yourselves once you've uh... paid for it. Once you've paid the tax, of course. I mean, that's just like real life. The individuality tax. Yeah. <laughs> just like real life. <laughs> It's like real life. <laughs> Aurelia looks like basically any teen movie where the mean girl is the blonde one that's really popular. That's what like she she's looks mean like. and blonde. Yeah. Mean. I mean, blonde. that's what she looks like. She looks like the preppy blonde villain of the teen movies. Delight. I love her already. Fancy clothes. Is she taller or shorter? I'd say she's not as tall as Mori Senpai, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, pretty athletic, like, let's say, like, 5'7". Five, 5'7". Seven. Five, seven. Okay. So, fairly tall for a young lady. Fairly tall. Um, Alejandra, she's gonna, I decided to give her brown hair. Um, mm. it's, then, green eyes. She's not super tall. She's probably only, like, Maybe five 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 four. Mm-hmm. Um, again, she had she had more of an athletic build because she was on cheer, but um, is no longer. Uh, she's one of those kids that here. one of those kids that uh, did have the. She used to wear the uniform, but nowadays she just kind of wears like a black hoodie, and you know. Emo stage. Yeah. Emo stage. Emo stage. <laughs> Um, although her distinctive feature is that, um, she does have what appears to be, like, little dots, almost, like, these painted dots on the side of her eye. Um, okay. Um, do remind me really quick, uh, Rustin and Jaden, what class do you choose? Yep. Uh, I'm doing a spooky. You're a spooky, and, uh, Rustin, what did you do? The expert. The expert. Okay. Perfect. All right. <laughs> Are we supposed to do this history part? Yeah, as I say, like, I'm, I'm looking through. I think we got all of our appearance out of the way. Yeah. Yes. So the Goth part. and scary tall dude. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking. And a mean girl. A scary tall girl. A, s- a scary tall dude and, and the mean thing. girl who's trying to uh, make friends with everybody. And that means everybody, damn it. I'm everybody. getting that award at the end of the year. <laughs> <laughs> For most I... friends, mate. Thinking about it, I kind of made myself as a character, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Yeah. Yeah. You just made you. Only inside I mean, of a character anime. That's scary, Elias. That's the only thing that should <laughs> I mean. I'm probably pretty scared when I'm just walking around. Yeah, no, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Young children flee at the sight of you. They're like, ah, it's a man. <laughs> um, I think, so we go around the same order. I think, Rustin, you pick, do you pick one person or two people? Okay. Uh, it, it's both at the same time. Mm-hmm. You just tie yourself with the other hunters. Yeah, yeah. so you do both of us at the same time. Okay. Uh, you said you had an interesting idea, so... Maybe I will do mine first, then. Um, yeah, ideas are good. Ideas are good. I'm <laughs> going to... I'm tying myself with Rustin. Um, our history is that... Um, we've known each other for some time, but since your powers manifested, you keep them distant emotionally. Um, you were friends, now you're not. I, I got my powers because I Rustin's interest in the supernatural... Um, had brought him some concoction, some kind of artifact <laughs> that uh, that I snuck into. And it's your fault. Oh, that's Ooh. fun. I like this. Turn my... That's drama. <laughs> that is drama. This is... Oh, so, so good. Um, and then I figure for Aurelia, now that I know a little bit more about her, um... I would say, sure, we're bloodkin, we're related. 
cousin? I'll be your cousin. I'll be your cousin. Your cousin. I'll be your cousin. So that, that makes sense for our characters, too. So yeah, I like that. That's why we have similar names, even. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's this weird tradition in the family that all of the daughter's names start with A. <laughs> and they're three syllables. Amelia, there's. There's. there's Anastasia. Uh, Alexia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really annoying. It gets confusing at the reunions. <laughs> okay, cousin. That's fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then. I think DM eventually. Eventually, I think you're gonna have to grab my um my dark ta my dark side tags, but dinosaur pin, dinosaur pin, <laughs> <laughs> dinosaur pin. It's squishy. Yep, I'll go with that one. Okay, go on, Cannon Foxglove. <laughs> I just I'm like that true. name. I'm gonna say it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Fox Club. Fox Club is such a good prep boss it's name. It's so snappy, you know? Yeah. I love it. It's so good. I'm so happy that I ended up with another Cross Lambert as soon as I ran this. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, we had Henry, we had uh, Rita, and then we had Cross Lambert. And now I have Arleia, Ale Aleandra, and Canon Fox Glove. <laughs> We, we sound like we belong in the world. I like it. Yeah, I'm so happy. <laughs> Go on. Uh, Alandra, uh, they helped you get a singular item that is now part of my haven and Ooh. tell you what it is. I tell, I tell you what it is or you tell me what it is? I, I tell you what it is. Okay, what's, what's my item? What's the item you helped me get that yeah. now is in my room? Yeah. So the one, because if it's in your haven, my, my I will say the one thing that I thought about for her powers, it's tied to me, like permanently. But I would love to have helped you get something else at the time, so it made sense that we, you know, mm -hmm. found it together. So, uh, what else did I help you find? I suppose I should ask. <laughs> uh, not entirely sure. I'm pr I'm probably gonna lean on. Just because of what else is in my haven, I'm probably going to go with uh, a fairly old tome. A fairly old tome. Ooh. That that a, works yes, pretty yes. good with the... Because if I'm spooky, I, it's kind of like the warlock patron. So That, that works. also works very well with what I have planned. Love it. Oh no, Love that's it. the worst. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> that also I know what that means. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it's all my fault. <laughs> Love it. And then, what's your relationship to Aurelia? I haven't figured that one out. Cool. Pick, pick, pick. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. I do like this a lot. I like how it just like immediately throws you into a background. Yeah. Oh yeah, you you don't have to have the awkward tavern conversation. Yeah, no, you already know each other. You've been going to school for at least a year together. Yep. Sounds like there's already been some history here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you guys at least. <laughs> Would you like to know about some of my dark secrets? No, tell me how you know me. <laughs> <laughs> you know about some of my dark secrets? How, 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 how do you? I know you? <laughs> I know about some of your dark secrets? Okay. But, you agree, or, but they've agreed to keep quiet about them. Alright. Oh. I do want to know about your dark secrets. <laughs> <laughs> Is one of them that you're a monster? <laughs> He's a secret know. monster. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's that I'm meant for, uh... Thank you. Uh, Would you come for my space? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I can hear you. Take away. It's that I, uh, yeah. meant for Alondra. Alejandra. Alejandra to become spooky. You did it on purpose? <laughs> oh, that's, that's rad. That's oh, so rad. That. It fits really well into the two that I was gonna choose for you guys, cause the other one. <laughs> um, so for my cousin Alejandra, uh, I am a monstrous being. Monstrous being. Uh huh. And one time I lost control and I almost killed you. Ooh. Uh, I have to ask you how you stopped me. 
Um, so I guess you would know now that I'm a psychic vampire. Psychic and vampire. I'm trying to steal all your energy and emotions. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. Um, and now she's in an emo phase. Aurelia, what did you do? <laughs> and I believe it's kind of funny because I picked Solus as one of mine. Um, oh my God. <laughs> that's kind of cool. Um, uh, how did I stop you? Um, do you have a weakness? Like, because I'm thinking, like, maybe maybe there's something I picked up from canon that I just kind of, you know, immediately went to, and I was like, okay, this is the best I could figure out. Typically, if you have to feed, you don't really need a vulnerability. You just have one of the curses. Yeah, I don't have... I mean, the curse is that I have to feed. I will say... I'll step in here just for some world flavor. Yeah. Uh, okay. Generally, emotional vampires have issue with, like, um, overfeeding. Hormonal teenager with a lot of emotions who was popular for a while and on cheer probably had a lot going on. <laughs> you okay. were most likely a fledgling at the time and didn't really know how to control what you did. I'm going to say you probably gave both of you a concussion when you did it. I like that. I like that. So let's say let's say you started to feed after I had gotten my powers. Um, oh, yeah. I and so it, it got because you we were like, "What is going on?" And then, blah. yeah, and then it kind of just blew us both off. And it oh was, man, that's rough. Yeah. Which means Cannon would also know. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, you know what I am too. Uh, which brings me to my next thing: how I know Cannon, or history with Cannon, I guess. Mm -hmm. I am romantically obsessed with you. Ooh. Do you know? And do you reciprocate? <laughs> I'm gonna think no. Considering I've got negative one charm, but not. <laughs> you probably don't know is, oh, that good. Yeah. Man, I like my cousin's best friend that I kind of hurt. Ooh. I've also kind of inflicted great suffering on my and, and now I know that you inflicted suffering on my cousin who I also inflicted suffering on. Oh god. <laughs> what an awkward situation this is for me. <laughs> I don't think I want to talk to either of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh, you right. know that, and I think it's you or turn you spooky. This is kind of tangled already. I know. I love it. <laughs> it's delightful. Oh, yes, the spicy chip. Yes, the spicy. Chip. Um. So. Do you, mainly because it's part of my thing. Whenever you're ready for my dark side, uh, apparently it's part of my gameplay mechanics. So. Yes. Um, whenever you're ready. Alright, hit me with it. Okay, I chose Dark Bargain. Okay. I chose Soulless. Okay. And I chose Greed for Power. Okay. You're a warlock. I'm pretty much a warlock, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. It ties in so well. Okay. <laughs> Oh, and then I had a question on luck. Is that yes. we can choose to take a luck whenever we want? Is that kind of how it works? You can choose to take a luck whenever you want. You do not regain luck, and if you use all of your luck, you become doomed. Right. Does everyone have luck? Yes, yeah. everyone has luck. Oh wait, I don't. So I never, I never regain luck. So like, for instance, if I, if I were to take one now, then like. Theoretically, like from a gameplay standpoint, if I were to take one at a future day or a future session, it wouldn't replenish. I'd still always be permanently down one luck. Yep, it does not replenish. So you get like seven per can like per campaign, so to speak. Yes. Interesting. Cool. Okay. So you have to use your luck carefully. Yeah. And the, it says I can use magic. So I just like, hey, I want to use magic to do this, and then you say if I can or not. Yes, I will say if you can attempt it or not, and then you can roll, and we see what happens from that. Because magic comes with glitches. Yeah. Yay, <laughs> Yay glitches! Why, why I'm gonna why summon all the monsters. <laughs> I will not <mount> that. <laughs> and I will say that I will limit what you can magically do with what kind of creature you are. Right. Just being a psychic vampire, I'll probably let you, like... 
do stuff like with people stuff. Mess with people's noodles. But not like breathe fire. Yeah, no. Nope. no fireballs <laughs> for me. No fireballs. Okay. No fireballs for you. One fireball. Okay. Three d six damage. Now to the plot hook for you all. Plot hook. Since you two ladies were very popular and well in the know of the other students around, you would both have been very, f- very familiar with Sabrina Hawthorne. Yep. She was a walking ray of sunshine. Mm-hmm. Just one of those effortlessly kind people. Rustin, you remember Helen from high school? I believe so, yeah. Sabrina was basically Helen. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody could be upset to see Sabrina. And she was probably very close friends with you, Aleander. Makes sense to me. As she was captain of the cheer squad. Captain of the cheer squad. Okay. Your sudden change in demeanor uh, does have a lot of people gossiping, as it happened very close to Sabrina's disappearance. Ooh. Ooh. The drama. Sabrina's disappearance has been troubling the entire school since it happened. Which wouldn't have been that long ago. (laughs) At the very beginning of this term, you all came back from fall break and Sabrina disappeared the second night back. Second night back. Her room was locked. Both the window and the door were closed. All of her belongings were there, save the one nightgown. And no one has seen her since. Phone was plugged in on the stand. Books were still by the by the door in her bag, and her shoes were still in the closet. There is a minor police presence at the school at the moment while they are trying to figure out exactly what could have happened, and there are interviews happening with students from time to time. Okay. Your classmates do not know that the supernatural exists. Your classmates and the faculty have no idea what is going on with you guys. Right. <laughs> and the most popular piece of gossip at the moment is that the three of you murdered Sabrina. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> so you're telling me I should not have a shotgun underneath my mattress? God no! <laughs> or a big knife in my uh, side? Absolutely. <laughs> I also have a big knife. <laughs> I mean, it's a family heirloom, right? <laughs> We've got our initials engraved on. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Uncle Todd was a weird guy. <laughs> I mean, you know, he just wanted us to be safe. <laughs> Love that you went go- shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> at a school. At a boarding school. <laughs> I have a hunting rifle somewhere. I'm not sure how I'm hiding it, but I have, <laughs> I have one. <laughs> I almost chose giant sword just for the hell of it. Yes, dude. <laughs> I would have allowed it. <laughs> I'm telling you, you could have had like a, yeah, Mr. Headmaster. This is this is my family. It's it's not it's a dull blade. <laughs> it's part of my coat of arms. Prop department. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you know I'm wildly involved in the theater? <laughs> it's a harper. It's made of styrofoam. It's a harper. <laughs> all right. Can you all see the map? No. Nope. Uh, no. Nope. Nope. I mean, it's the old one. Do you have the player banner on the one you want us to be on? No. Okay. How do I do that? Take the player better and move it to the one you want it to be on. Cool. There we go. Can you see it now? Yeah. Oh, nice. We're in a shul. Yes. My old shul house. Look at those (laughs) beaks. All right. That's a theater I see over there. (laughs) We are involved in the prop department. I get it. (laughs) Is that a giant ice cream over here? No, that is a giant globe. Okay, that's what I thought I'm just... And the, and the gyme, the gymnasium. The gymnasium. Do you like the uh, floor paint? I did it with street markers from fucking... It looks looks just like a basketball court. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it's facing the right direction and everything. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's what Aurelia plays. She's into the globe. I play table. basketball. You think I'd be better at this? <laughs> But you know what? All I had were straight lines. I did the best I yep. could. <laughs> I get it. It's cool. 
I mean, it's like it's like British basketball. There we right? go. <laughs> they play on the opposite cricket side of the court. court. Inside. <laughs> yeah, the indoor cricket court. Yeah. <laughs> because there also wasn't like a basketball hoop of any kind. <laughs> a lot of people don't do like their mysteries in schools. I guess that's we, just we play four square in there. Hell yeah, four square. Sweet. All right. Don't fall. Uh, there is also the library directly next to the That's this guy. gymnasium. Yes. Okay. And the locker rooms at the bottom of the gym. Okay. I see that there's this no is lunch room. the first floor of your school. I didn't build the classrooms because I was running out of time and I didn't want to build a bunch of classrooms. <laughs> I get it. I really imagine the classrooms. Yeah. yeah. For, for the sake of... Uh, the theater of the mind. <laughs> for the sake of brevity, the classrooms would be off the back wall here. Okay. Mark? I didn't see your clicker. Uh. Okay. Up here. Oh, okay. All right. Off, off the back wall, and the stairs lead up to the dormitory level of the school. Cool. cool. Is the dormitory underground? I said up. Mm. Okay. <laughs> the stairs lead up. They can't leave it. Well, I want to live in a bunker. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. I like the Slytherins. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. But, no, the, uh, the dorms work kind of like towers on top of the school. Mm -hmm. uh, We're the, also <laughs> the boys and girls dorms are separate sides connected by a common area of restrooms, shower rooms, and a sitting area. Cool. <laughs> and since there are only six dorms to a floor, the towers go kind of high. Six dorms to a floor? Um... Uh, Out of curiosity, uh, maybe this is jumping ahead too much. Where Sabrina's is room is, is it near somebody's room? Like, is it like one of our rooms is nearby Sabrina's room? Yeah. Okay. No, I I should clarify. There's six uh, boy dorms and six girl dorms per floor. Okay. And since there's only two girls in this party, <laughs> I'd I'd wager that you all had dorms on the same. Lord, okay. your room's probably sandwiched Sabrina's, which only leads more to the theory that you guys killed her. Alright. <laughs> Cannon, your dorm is on the same floor just across the hall. Hmm. So we are all around her. Yes. You were friends. Guys, just admit it. We killed her. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. You all pretty <laughs> hard. Alright. Yeah, no, I've got a blessed knife or, no, a magical dagger. Got a magical dagger and a shotgun. <laughs> you know, standard equipment. Kenny, who <laughs> raised you? What, the Fox should, I have, should I have chosen a magnum and a flamethrower? It's true. Our options were very, very, uh, you know, they weren't going to be inconspicuous. No, I love that you went balls to the wall with whatever you could grab, and these two were like, I mean, I could probably conceal a knife. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted a, one of the swords, but I said go with. Uh, the blessed knife and magical dagger. Delightful. I, I just, I love it. Okay. So. Sword, but what can I hide? Probably a knife and dagger. Yeah. And a rifle. All right. So you rifle. three find yourselves between classes. This school is being European, giving you an hour for lunch. Cool. And you have free reign of the school during lunchtime. As I did not make a cafeteria. Yay. Well, that's sweet. I was going through and then realized I didn't have the boss fight room. <laughs> <laughs> Which seems more important. Yeah. Um, oh, I don't, I, I don't know, because I don't know what I can do. I have all these options. Um, can I be eating in the area where there's the most people so I can absorb their energies? <laughs> Absolutely. That would... That would most likely be the library. Most schools have a no food in the library rule, but the librarian is a very, like, reedy little woman who can't really enforce rules. Cool, I need a cup of noodles in the library. <laughs> Sitting on the table. <laughs> You're getting a disapproving looks from the poor librarian, but she, she, what's she gonna do? <laughs> and from room. everyone else for eating a cup of noodles. Because it's a <laughs> private academy. I like cup of noodles. <laughs> No, it's fair. Get your comfort foods. <laughs> I I want to be in an area where I I where Kane's not, <laughs> so I'd probably be like 
You know, I'd probably honestly just kind of be hanging out on the stairs. Hanging out on the stairs? Yeah. Like a cool kid? Yeah. All right. Cool emo kid listening to Evanescence. <laughs> Wake <laughs> me up. <laughs> you are joined by the one other emo kid who is going through It's Not a Phase. His name is Raul. And he Raul. is very much into the vampire aesthetic. Uh, I don't. I don't want to talk. I don't. I'm, I'm ignoring Raul as much as I can. What's that? I said I'm ignoring Raul as much as I can, but I'm not. You know, running from his company. <laughs> He's pretending to ignore you, but also like staring holes through you because he thinks you're the coolest person in this school. Oh no! Just screw him, <laughs> Raul. <laughs> but he he does notably wear uh, fake fangs to school every day. Oh, what a punk! <laughs> He is very much one of those assholes. Alright. Mm. Put fake emo kid. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a face. <laughs> uh, there is also Jody from the newspaper club staring at you from the other side of the globe. Jody. She thinks she's hidden. She's not hidden. <laughs> okay. Um. Need to take some notes. I know, I'm, I'm still catching up on detailing Raul and <laughs> fake things. And so the Raul, other girl... punk-ass bitch. What's, uh... So Jody was what on the newspaper club? She is a journalist from the newspaper club. How old is she? She is 16, she is hiding behind the globe, and she's staring at you. Yeah. She is one of the few students that still wears the uniform, mostly because she likes the uniform aesthetic. <laughs> what does the uniform look like, I want to know. The uniform is very standard, like, Catholic school uniform. It's knee-length, dark blue skirt, and blazer jacket over white button-ups and red bows. Sweet. I feel like, like I look good. It's, <laughs> it's as basic as it gets. Sweat. Um, I didn't take the thing that I wanted to do, so I'm just gonna... Oh, that's tough. I'll wait, I'll wait to see if she comes up to me. I'll just hang out. I will say, it's been a couple days. She's been doing this every lunch hour. That's odd, but okay. I'll... Waiting for you to do something. She's investigating you <laughs> for the news. She's uh... trying like hell. <laughs> um. Okay. Uh, I, I may get her in a minute. I want to know what uh, what <laughs> what good old Fox glows up to. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably be spending uh, this time in my haven reading up on that uh, fairly old tone. See if he may have had anything, may have done anything to make her disappear. <laughs> Is your haven your room? I have no idea. It's the boy's bathroom. <laughs> 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 he has one stall. <laughs> you get to tell me about your haven. Hmm. Thanks. Can you tell me where it is? Dude, you're totally gonna put, do it in the theater room. That makes so much sense. <laughs> I will say there is a uh, a surplus of costume rooms for the theater for as small as the theater club is. As usual. You probably oh, found an old prop room and are hanging out in there. That's as your things wouldn't be messed with in a prop room. Yeah, that's good. Hmm. That's good. Nice. <laughs> Uh, currently reading up on the old tome in my lore library. It's also an infirmary and a workshop. Alright. Um, make a roll for me. Okay. 2d6. At 16, we're what? We're, because I'm 16 too, we're sophomores, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. We're gonna take this by storm cousin and then <laughs> we still have two years just you wait <laughs> it's only gonna get better <laughs> my dice in here but i forgot which dice i threw 2d6 that's this, this you better. only need two <laughs> well, i was seven of them so i think it was seven i rolled seven excellent the uh page that you're on starts shaking and just curl up a little bit 
and the edges start folding themselves into this weird triangular pattern, and then the book curls up and bites you. Ooh, <laughs> it's a mimic. Roll initiative. <laughs> Amazing. I love Take it. one harm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's been nice to know you, Fox Club. <laughs> you had such a cool day, but I really liked you. <laughs> I think you were the main character. <laughs> and Luke doesn't like you. Luke doesn't like him. Every time you've tried to read it, it's been a struggle to even get the words to behave on the page. Mm -hmm. You've gotten a little bit of information out of it. And insofar as you know that you've done something irreversible, Aleandra. You freaking jerk. <laughs> I hate you. I'm gonna kill you. And You're the next you, one to die. <laughs> you now have a gloomy aura. People are uncomfortable to be around you. Me? Or him? Him. <laughs> me? Oh. No, me. Oh, him. They are uncomfortable to be around, Canon. Something about you is now off to them. Like, you were scary looking before, but there's something that's, like, weird about you when you walk by now. Oh, man, I wish there was a place to write this. Like, how do I... Freshman cringe. You give people the certified heebie-jeebies. With my monsterness, would he feel different to me now? Or would I be able to sense this? You would be able to sense this, that he's... Like, like a milkshake that's just a little bit too Chunky. much ice cream. Mm. Like, <laughs> his, his aura is a little thick when it comes by you and you're just cold. Oh. <laughs> My aura is gummy thick and I'm trying to solve the mystery. <laughs> <laughs> trying to solve the mystery of my friend's disappearance, but my aura is dummy thick and it keeps alerting the psychic vampire. <laughs> <laughs> Can we go look for Cannon to go and, like, find him and see if his aura is still weird? Roll plus sharp for me. Okay. And did this just happen? Like, Cannon just now has the gloomy aura? Or? Eight plus sharp nine. You can track him pretty easily through the school. You mostly follow the waves of discomfort of other students. <laughs> just where he's been. Okay. He's got like a bat signal coming off of him. You know where Cannon is all the time. <laughs> oh, my obsessiveness. Um, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go find him in his weird prop room and just sort of lean in the doorway and see if he notices me or not. Probably gonna be seeing you trying to heal myself up because this is a haven's also an infirmary. Actually, make a roll plus tough to see if you can get the book off. Oh, okay. It is growling like a pissed off Pomeranian. <laughs> like the monster manual from Harry Potter, it's just the book is just biting you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I saw when I... <laughs> That is a uh, seven plus one. So that's an eight. That's good. Yes. That is a mix success. You get your hand free. It really hurts though, and it like gouges down your hand, and the book will not open again for you today. So, so wait, is my hand out of it, or is this <laughs> my hand? Your hand is out of it. Okay. In the first ten minutes, Rosin takes harm and loses a hand. <laughs> <laughs> no, your hand is out of it, but it will not open for you again today. So I walk into his room and I just see him pull a book off his hand? Yes, yeah, pull a book off his bleeding hand, and there is now blood soaking into the pages. Eerily, it absorbs completely and disappears. <laughs> You're like yeah. a slight slurp. Okay. Mm. You need a band aid? <laughs> I've got some over here, actually. Pass a trace in, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I got that one. I just pop open, like, a small box with uh, some medical stuff in it. You stole the first aid kit from the uh, theater room. <laughs> <laughs> Except this one has the real stuff in it. I would like mm -hmm. to poke the book with my dagger. Just she just swoops it out like <laughs> Just gently just to see if it moves or anything. It barks at you. 
Okay. <laughs> like that. Back to you get close and it like vibrates away and goes <laughs> and slides itself under a shelf. <laughs> Does it have scuddly little feet? <laughs> nope, it just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> It sounds adorable. <laughs> like an old cell phone on a picnic table. <laughs> you should probably train that a little better. I'm just currently working just on... I'll get to that after I stop the bleeding. <laughs> so, how you feeling? Other than the blood. <laughs> like your general life. How's that going? <laughs> A little bit of panic, because I'm really curious on if we made that one girl disappear. Right. That, that one girl, you know, your best friend. <laughs> Not your best friend, Canon. Or Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> I've forgotten her name. Sabrina. Sabrina Hawthorne. You mean Sabrina? Yeah. You didn't. Like, you would tell me if you go. Right? I haven't told anyone about what we've done, and what I've done. I mean, you told me I'm someone, I'm, I'm a person. Like, you know. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Are you really? More like half a person. Ouch! <laughs> well, your vibe is super off color, you know. People can tell. Not just me. Is all dingy. Yeah, your art is all dingy. It tastes like bad milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's because of your mean attitude, jerk. I never said I was a nice guy. And you're still friends with this for some reason. Yeah, I don't know. Well, good luck with your blood. <laughs> I don't give him you. Alright. His aura was still bad. Yeah, his aura is rancid. <laughs> how long is how long has his aura been rancid? Since he touched the book. And how long ago was that? Months. Months. Months it's ago. been it was over the fall break that Alejandra was helping Canon try to break into an old bookstore to get this cool looking book. Cool. Because my parents wouldn't get it for me. <laughs> His parents wouldn't get it for me. Daddy it didn't want to get me a book. <laughs> <laughs> the Foxglove family is noted for their uh, field in paranormal research. Oh. That explains the cool name. <laughs> Canon, your <laughs> father saw the book that you were after told you to leave that shit alone in no uncertain terms and gave you a blessed knife and then you used that blessed knife to jimmy the lock on the back door throw all the polyandra in <laughs> and steal the cursed as shit book anyway <laughs> your parents don't know you have this book but they have noted that it's gone missing i mean tacit implication to yeah you can go get the book here's a knife <laughs> no, that's how he took implication. <laughs> so was your father being like, "Oh no, my son's an idiot." Here, take a blessed <laughs> knife and don't touch that fucking book. <laughs> Here, distraction. Like, your blessing, I understand. <gasps> oh, no, you gave me a blessed knife. <laughs> You're giving me a cursed knife or something. I would not give a cursed knife to my son. <laughs> <laughs> my dad sucks. Um. Wouldn't even give me a cursed knife. <laughs> I would like to I'll kind of slowly stand up and start making my way over to the globe but trying to do it in a way that looks like I'm about to go somewhere else if that makes sense like I'm gonna try and see what she does as I approach roll plus cool to see how uh, stealth this <laughs> let me open up my page because I have my playbook open oh I don't have much yeah. cool let's see you pull this off why are these so uh, that's a seven. You try to look like you're headed somewhere else, but you're making direct eye contact with Jody as you approach. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like twisted sideways, but you're like crab walking towards her. Just like <laughs> click, 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 click. Direct eye contact. 
Um, she sees you approaching. What's Jody's last name? It's not Foster. <laughs> <laughs> no. Jody Summers. One more time. Summers. Jody Summers. Summers. As I walk up to him, be like, be like, um, anything I can do for you, Summers? You can tell me exactly what you did to Sabrina Hawthorne. <laughs> then maybe you'll be able to tell us both, because I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, you don't know? You have no idea what happened to the captain of the cheer squad that about two days after you quit the cheerleading squad and started doing your whole doom and gloom thing and hanging out on the stairs with Raul? <laughs> don't you ever say that. Do you know hey, Raul. vampire freak? <laughs> I take offense to that. <laughs> take offense to the implication that you're not inspired. I am not, I am not in league with that whole. <laughs> <laughs> Can I walk out this door right now? But you're in league with someone. You are absolutely welcome to walk out that door. And you see Jody Summers clutching a little, like, journalist notebook and a pen that may or may not have a bobbly teddy bear on the back. <laughs> Getting right up in Alejandro's face. Okay, I'll lean against the wall and try to just listen. The most paranoid expression on her face as she rants. <laughs> we all know that you and your weird cousin were in on it, and you had that even creepier guy came in. You definitely... <laughs> everybody already knows that you kidnapped Sabrina and murdered her in the woods behind the school and hid her body somewhere. We just want to... Why? I'm gonna come up behind her and put my arm around her shoulders. Jimmy's <laughs> be like, hi, weird cousin here. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to duck your arm, slap at you, and then run. <laughs> She's not very friendly. This is so awkward. So I'm. Let's see. Um, I'm no, going to. <laughs> I'm going to try and act under pressure. <laughs> what would you like to do? Uh. I'm going to try and just make it back to the stairs with, and, like, just kind of give Aurelia, like, a... Without even, like, telling her, just kind of being, like, a buzz off. And try and just kind of make my way, you know. So I'm trying to signal her with body language that I'm not interested. So I, I don't think that's manipulation. So I didn't want to do that one. <laughs> that would be act under pressure. Yeah. So... As your cousin is very bright and very bubbly, it's generally pleasant to be around. Except for, you know, when she tries to eat you, <laughs> so that's cool. Yeah. Oh, no. She pumps out the happy vibes to make people calm. <laughs> She's gotten better at it. Uh, that's a seven. You start making your way back to the stairs, trying your best to give off the leave me alone, don't fuck with me vibes. And again, you make a direct eye contact with someone. You're staring directly at Raul, and he kind of smiles and, like, pats the stair where you were sitting. <laughs> can I, can I just you're so you? social, you can't not. You're just like... <laughs> I guess I have to sit with Raul. <laughs> you have to sit with Raul. Can I follow her anyway and just, like, ignore her because she's telling me to fuck off? And instead, like, crouch <laughs> at the bottom of the stairs and look up at Raul and be like, hi, Raul. Well, hello, Arlia. Oh my god, am I going to have to save Raul's life? <laughs> <laughs> You'll look radiant as ever. Thank you, it's a new skin treatment. I can get you a bottle. I'd rather not. The sun and I don't agree, and it seems that you've been... Oh, in God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> You positively glow with Stola, my dear. Wow, you must be reading, like, so many old poets and shit. That's great. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to ask if you got your teeth again. That's interesting. I did, yes, they are new. <laughs> That's cool. Did they glow in the dark like the old ones, or...? Jesus no, Christ! Be, uh, ceramic? Wow. Isn't that uncomfortable? Like, how do you eat pizza? Like, you take them out, or...? Oh, no, it's like, fold it a little bit, and they just go between them. Oh, that's interesting. Hey, uh, Rouse. Lifestyle choices. <laughs> I was wondering, did you hear anything weird, like, you know, the other night? I mean, like, I know you're out at night a lot. 
So getting those moon rays. Weird how. Because I did hear Chester reciting some of his uh, work. He doesn't put the window open. It's so... The poor thing. I don't think he realizes we can all hear him. (laughs) Chester. And that's pretty weird. I mean more like banging or screaming or kidnapping, (laughs) things like that. Oh, don't worry, darling. Your secret's safe with me. If you want to snag a student here or there, who am I to judge? Why in the world would I snag a student? I have so many friends. No, you were buttering up to that Sabrina girl for so long. And now I'm buttering up to you. You make a fair point, but I put up more of a fight than Sabrina Hawthorne. Um, I would like to... I forgot the words. Manipulate somebody. Can I use my mental dominion to exert my will over him? Oh boy. (laughs) Oh boy. What would you like him to do? I would like him to tell me the truth if he's lying to me. Okay, roll plus weird. Okay. Ah. Let's see, that's not very good. Seven plus weird. Eight, nine, ten. That's good. That is a best. Yay. He's been... He's been joking with you since you sat down, just... I mean, he's eccentric, but he's not like an outcast <laughs> of the group. People are like, oh, that's a nice tie, and, you know, they're they're jokingly playful with his weird choices as well. <laughs> so it's not an uncommon conversation that he's had, but uh, as you're sitting with him, you just get... Your, your nose twitches just a little bit, like you smelled something awful, and the bitter taste of nervousy hits your tongue as soon as you ask if you heard anything weird. Ooh. And he's going to, like, look around a little bit, and he's gonna linger on Alejandra, and then he's going to look back at you and lean in close and... Listen, I know I'm not supposed to be on the girl's side of the dorms, and for all intents and purposes, I wasn't. Alright? Yeah, sure, do I get that. Can I hear him? Uh, yeah, like, I'm, the way I'm imagining this is that the three of you are sitting on the same stair. Relatively, yeah. <laughs> and he's, like, leaning over you cool. to talk to cool. Arlia. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I get that. Like, sometimes you just want to take a walk. Somewhere. It, it smells so much better on your side of things. It's I, heard, I heard Sabrina talk to someone. Really? I didn't hear another voice, but she was talking, and it wasn't like a rehearsal. She was having a conversation with someone. Wow, like, with a phone? Oh, probably she did have her phone. What was she saying? It was just weird. She... uh, The only thing I really heard was, can you really do that? Whoa. And then you didn't hear anything else? There was a bump, and then nothing. Whoa. Yeah. That's weird. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Can you really do that? Like, full disclosure, Raul? Like, if I had taken her, I probably wouldn't have, you know, made it so mysterious. Like, you know me, I'm an open book. Um, (laughs) so, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out where she went, you know? I completely understand. I mean, after all, that uh, head cheerleader position won't open back up until they close the case on what happened to Sabrina. I mean, she could just still be out there somewhere. I'm going to... I'm going to stand up and start making my way towards the theater room. Okay. I will watch you go, sadly. (laughs) What happened? You tried to kill me! (laughs) See you later! (laughs) I'll keep the stairs warm for you. Not coming back. <laughs> I'll hang out with Raul and just feed off his weird energy. <laughs> <laughs> you get a lot of fun little spikes of ew as people pass him. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's your favorite like thing. It's like pop rocks. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you considered?
considered adding a cape? I had considered adding a cape, but I wasn't sure if silk was the right tone. Like, maybe you should get a velvet one, or like a reversible one, you know? Ooh, I like the way you think, and he's gonna pull out his phone and just start scrolling Amazon. (laughs) (laughs) Gross. Um, do I find... I imagine I know where to look for canon, if I needed to. I will say, with your history of, you know, working together in your weird little endeavor, you would know exactly where his hideaway is. Okay. Like, I, I, I... We haven't been close for very long. So, no, but I figure, like, I'm like, like, yeah. He's like, this is the room he hangs out in. Like, um, so I will do that. And, um... I will see where he is if I can find my way to his room. If he's there. <laughs> Are you still in there, Ken? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm just like seeing like some effective right? Uh, hey. I'm gonna, I will say, I will say, I'm not gonna make you roll for this. You know where that room is because the book talks to you. <gasps> the book talks to me. And you. You can hear it getting louder as you get closer. Do I need to be near the book for it to... T- I don't have to be near it for it to talk to me? You don't have to be near it for it to give you commands, but it does kind of have a steady stream of babble that you can follow to find it. It's my patron. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> right now it is bitching about the greasy-fingered cannon. <laughs> <laughs> um... Nasty Ooh, little that, hands all over my pages. That's that's interesting. Um, uh, that rude. You should have bit him harder. <laughs> finger next time. <laughs> or and I, as I see Cannon, <clears throat> open the door. So, hi. Oh, great! The cousins are visiting me today. How are you? Same old, same old, I guess. Um, I imagine, let's see, I know, so I'm trying to think. Ken, I don't know about Canon, what he did to me, but he, does he know about my situation? Um, he knows that something happened to you that was related to the book. Because that is all the book has told him. And I imagine that's the last time that we really talked. So, I, I, we, there, there's a nervousness between us, like, in the sense of, like, I don't know what you know about me. Um, so. You know, I know about you. You don't know what I know about you. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, I, yeah, I don't, I don't know what you know about me. So. Um, <laughs> I'm going to, um. So, uh, read any... Thing interesting recently? Uh, nope, the book won't let me try to read it. It's always a struggle with it. Yeah, a lot of work for what payoff, but um, hey, I have a question for you. Um, don't suppose in any of your knowledge or anything you've heard of some kind of creature that lets people do stuff, if that makes sense? There's a theory going around that Sabrina had been talking to somebody. A creature that lets you do stuff. That's more than a little vague, but yeah, there's a bunch of those. And my eyes are shifting to the book a little bit because I know exactly what I'm talking about. Any particular names, any, you know, thing that we can follow on that? Uh, let's see here. There are sprites, demons, uh, some spirits. And then roll plus sharp. That is, let's see here, 10 plus, what is it? Jesus, 10 you rolled plus 10? 10 plus 12. Oh my god. <laughs> Complete success. You rattle off an exci- like an alarmingly encyclopedic knowledge of <laughs> things that can grant powers to cr- to people. <laughs> you know so much shit about nothing that you should be learning at this school. Really, it's 
it's a miracle you're still enrolled. Is <laughs> <laughs> because it seems like all you do is spend your time in here on like Reddit and reading old poems. <laughs> on Reddit, he, he goes on R dash funny. <laughs> Um, the reddit ghost stories <laughs> uh as he's listing these do any of them i don't um like make it sound as if they would be the beings that would take somebody as part of a deal roll plus weird for me i am pretty good on loathe weird. Uh, let me just move this over a little bit uh that's eight The book is going to launch itself out from under the shelf it's hidden under and smack against your foot. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's going to like ruffle its pages at you, kind of like a. This thing's got such Pomeranian energy. The, the book is happy to see you. <laughs> wow. Um. I yeah. suppose I should look at this book. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Maybe you don't want to be around when I do that. <laughs> then get it out of my room. In the back of your head, you hear, pick me up, 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 pick me up! Pick me up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pick up the book, but I'm also going to take a couple steps backwards away from canon. Do you open it? Yeah. Yeah, if I feel like, mainly to make sure I'm at a safe distance and nothing weird is going to happen, I'm going to open it. Well, then I'm not going to shoot you or something? More like that, again, I, I don't know what you know about me, so I don't know what this book is going to do. So I'm trying oh. to... Like... It opens to a page, and all of the words that were on the page just... They sink into the paper like a wet sponge. And then they resurface in the image of a book. <laughs> the, there's, a, there's a book in the pages of the book? <laughs> yes. There's a drawing of a book on the page of the book. Interesting. Exception. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all it gives you. I can do that. I can give you whatever you want. I'm gonna... I'm gonna hold the... Like, turn the page and hold it out to canon. And just, but I'm not gonna hand him the book. I'm just holding it out like this. What do you see? What do I see? Do I see a drawing of a book? Or do I see, see garbled? You see a brief drawing of a book as it sinks in, and then you see a middle finger. It hates you. It really doesn't like you. You are not the one it bonded to, and you've been trying to read it. It is upset with you. I love it. I love this book. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure it doesn't like me. What makes you say that? It's flipping me off. <laughs> and I look back to the book. Is it flipping him off? <laughs> yes. Huh. Image synced, and the same drawing of a book pops up. And there's not, like, a title on this book or anything. It looks almost like one of those hipster leather-bound journals. It's got, like, the buckle on the front with a book strap and, like, the thick spine. I don't suppose... It's very deliberately showing you this book. It's the book itself? No. The drawing is a specific book. Right. And does that does that book look like the book I'm holding? Like, are there... Uh, no. Okay. This looks like a different book. Gotcha. The book you're holding has this, like... It is old leather, but it is bright red and has, like, gold filigree across the front where a title should be. Okay. It has no buckle. It looks like an old novel. This one looks like a journal. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Um. Does it look like any of the books I have on the shelf? Hmm? Or does it look like any of the books I have on my shelves? It show? does not look like a book you've seen before. Interesting. Okay. Um, okay. Um, Alejandra, roll plus sharp for me, real quick. Yeah. Like I, I'm, I'm devising a plan. I need to know what that plan is, but I'm devising a plan. Not very good. That's a six. 
Mm. You've seen this book somewhere, but you can't remember where. Yeah. Or doesn't Alejandro get an experience from that? What yes. do I, when do I get experience? When I fail? When you fail, you <gasps> get an experience. <sighs> so, Candon, you also get an experience from the book biting the shit out of you. I'm going to level up so fast. <laughs> uh, you get one experience point when you fuck something up, and every, I believe it's five, let me double check. Yeah, there's five boxes here. Yeah, so uh, after five failures, you level up and get to take a new move. Ooh. God, yes. Um, That's fun. Okay, well, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to pass them back to the book. It starts growling again. <laughs> <laughs> it's not mine. Um, <laughs> I think I... Uh, I think it was trying to tell me something about Sabrina, but I'm not sure. You hear, like, four different voices happening in your head all at once, and there's... It's too excited. There's too much happening. You... <clears throat> You have no idea what they're trying to say. Okay, I'll slowly kind of wince at it just because I'm like, it, having that many people talking at the same time is a little bit overwhelming. <laughs> oh yeah, and it is loud. Yeah, and I'll just, um, I'm, I'm gonna, I need a drink of water. I'll go and sit outside. Alrighty. Interesting, okay, now, now I just need to figure out, I know what I'm going to do, I just don't know how I'm going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Aurelia, is there anything you'd like to do with the rest of your lunch hour? Um, after talking with Raul a while and absorbing his Pop Rocks energy, <laughs> um, I will uh, just sort of hang around in the, the theater area, because I can feel that they're both in there, and okay. just sort of, like, maybe sit on the piano, just chill, scroll through my Pinterest boards, and just wait for them, one of them to come out. Yeah, I'm, so... I've sort of been stalking them for weeks, trying to. Trying to <laughs> that that works pretty well. If she sees me coming out, um, even though I have a headache and stuff, I'm gonna like stop really quickly and just kind of like look at her and be like, I, "I have to talk to you," and then I'm gonna keep walking and go and <laughs> try and get a drink of water. I'll follow her. Okay. I'm just gonna lightly threaten the book with a blessed knife. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll just snarl louder and start chomping at you. <laughs> Um, I, I will... Leandra, you get, like, a sharp headache as Cannon fucks with the book. <laughs> I'm like, oh, and, and I, I, how long does that last? <laughs> but, until Cannon stops pointing a knife at it. <laughs> how long do you point a knife at the book? <laughs> Probably, like, ten seconds. Okay, alright. Um. Do you need, like, an ibuprofen? I don't know. Um, you, you're really good at people. Uh huh. Yep. Now, <laughs> and I again give her a knowing like, whatever you know, whatever that meant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. You know. Yeah. You're right. I kind of have a feeling that Sabrina, based off of when you were talking to Raul. I went in and saw Cannon just a second ago, and this book showed me a picture of a of another book, and I, I'm... That, that creepy book that made both of your auras turn super weird? You know about that? I mean, like, yeah, I mean... Yeah, um... Kind of. Yeah, yeah, um... It, it's... It showed me when we were talking about deals, making deals with things, uh -huh. it seemed to respond to that. It showed me a picture of a book, and... What did it look like? Was it the same book, or was it a different book? No, it was a different one. More like, um, more like a private journal, I guess. Ooh. We should find it. Yeah, and... Maybe that one talks too. Maybe it's like, you know, like, telephone. I don't really need more <laughs> books. You know, talking to me. You know, that's not my favorite thing in the world. Um, but I do think if we want 
Jody Summers to stop following us around. There might be something to it in Sabrina's stuff. Yeah, she's getting to be a real big pain. Like, the paranoid obsessiveness was pretty tasty at first, but now it's just getting old. Yeah. <laughs> she what? <laughs> yeah, like every time you take a shower, she's standing outside. I don't know. I don't really understand why, but. Uh, okay. Well, if you're ever trying to, you know, go through someone's private affairs, maybe she's one that you could. <laughs> I mean, I don't... People come to me and tell me stuff, like... But this... We could work through this. We could do this. Yeah. Hey, listen, by the way. Uh -huh. um, you've been super pissed at me for, like, months. And I totally understand. Um, I did almost kill you. And I just oh. wanted to let you know. Like, I'm super, like... You know, I got it now. I am so on the level. Like... Yeah, you don't have to worry. I don't know about any of that. <laughs> but I do know that you're the only one that has any clue of what's going on around here, and so I think you may be of use. I'll take it, that's great. Um... I'm glad we're friends again. I'm, I'm gonna get you not gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to go look around Sabrina's room. Let's see if we can how close we can get. Sure, we can All do right. that. Should we take your uh, sort of a uh, breaking and entering, buddy? I think he's more your best friend than he is mine. So. I think he's more your friend than he is mine. He doesn't even know I exist. <laughs> Honestly. You were waiting in the theater room for him. <laughs> I know he exists. He doesn't know I exist. Like. Fine. Sure. And I'll walk back into the theater room. <laughs> <laughs> Not bandaged, bandaged up at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you, you've you taken care of your one point of harm. Alright. Great. <laughs> hey, uh, Foxglove. First of all, Please be careful what you do around that book. Second of all, we're planning a little excavation. And you might be of use. Okay. I guess I'll grab a shovel from in here. And like... <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I... <laughs> let me, let me, <laughs> when I say S... Well, I'm, we're going to Sabrina's room. I, the the book showed me a picture of a book. I feel like this has something to do with Sabrina. I don't know where she would have kept it other than her room. I, I want to know if there was a book. Maybe we can ask someone about it, see if she's seen anyone with a book. So, you want to ask book about it? I asked the book if, she, if it has seen Sabrina with a book. <laughs> I don't know. Every hey. time you point at it, it makes little choppy motions. <laughs> <laughs> it does not like you today. <laughs> well, book, have you seen Sabrina with a book? And I realize it's closed, I'm not even going to pick it up. I'm just going to talk to it. <laughs> <laughs> the voice in your head goes, I can't see a damn thing, I'm stuck in this room! And then, like, four more voices bitch about the shitty little room. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> <laughs> and they just get louder, and it starts growling again. <laughs> From like outside the hallway, I'm just gonna be like, "Do you need that ibuprofen?" Yep. I have some in my bag. Yep. Okay. Get you some juice. And um, I, I don't, I don't think it has any clue. So maybe, maybe we, maybe we go with Plan A and you know try and figure out if Sabrina was with a book at any point. Okay. Um. Alejandra, you would, uh, you would wager your best bet to find out if, excuse me, spicy, <clears throat> uh, 
any change in Sabrina's usual behavior would probably have been noticed by her good friends on the cheerleading squad, who used to be your good friends too. Mm. This is like an awkward family reunion. Oh yeah. <laughs> Even more awkward because all of this happened uh, at the same time. Yeah. So Sabrina went missing and then you started acting weird and hanging out with Cannon and <laughs> everything just got a little bit bad. Yeah. Um... There is one girl on the team that would do anything you asked her to. She's a freshman who barely got on, and she is not going to cause waves Perfect. Anywhere. What's her name? <laughs> that would be Cynthia Jespers. Cynthia Jespers. Perfect. Was she and Sabrina, like, relatively close, or even with her being a freshman? She worshipped Sabrina. Sabrina was just kind of like, oh, I? Okay. Teammate. <laughs> But, uh, okay. close to Aurelia's level of obsession with canon, Cynthia was a bit obsessed with Sabrina. She, she was her idol. <laughs> okay. Then, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna tell, uh, Kanan and Mike, let's say you're better at this whole breaking and entering thing than I am, obviously, but, uh, maybe you can kind of stake out the place and I'll go talk to someone that might have noticed something. Stake out the room. Yeah, see what you can find. The one right across from mine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> see if there's a way in. I don't know. You did it for a book. You can do it to clear your name. Okay. Okay, and then you can you can take you can take my cousin. I think I think I'll do her some good. Take your cousin? Okay. At this point, I will pop back in with a bottle of ibuprofen and a big bottle of juice. Just be like, cranberry is super good for headaches. I'm sh sure, and I, <laughs> I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take one. I don't know if it does a dang thing, but I'm gonna try. It does not. The book is just still bitching about the prop room. Okay, well, I, I'm gonna make a best. I'm gonna try and feign that it works, and be like, oh, yep, yeah, you're right, and. You're gonna. She knows you're lying. <laughs> Would I know she's lying or? No, she's lying. Should I should I roll for cool to make sure? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. See if you can bluff the psychic vampire. <laughs> Go for it. Let's fucking see. Go ahead. <laughs> That's definitely not. It's a five. Yeah, okay. Wait, but I get more experience. <laughs> Once again, you try to play something off as totally cool, and you. Your poor cousin, Arlia. Your poor cousin looks like she's about to spit out her gut. Like, there's just such discomfort on her poor face. And you think she might be getting, like, more bags under her eyes? <laughs> Which, like... <laughs> um, alright. I'm gonna just, like, sort of pap her face. Just, just without her consent. Just... <laughs> you, you don't have to lie. It's okay. I just wanted to help, you know. Yeah. It's super stressed. Like, you need to get some sleep, girl. Yeah. I, I'll do my damnedest. <laughs> <laughs> um, to that point, do I sense any weird vibe coming from the book? The book is irritated. Okay, cool. So it's it feels like a person would? It feels like seven people. Seven people? Okay, yes, that's the book. The book it's... feels like seven people standing on top of each other to you. <laughs> wow, I'm gonna fix my eyes on it and be like, now that is interesting. I like that. And I'm going to, like, just lean and squint at it. Mm -hmm. How did you get so many people in there? Did you do that? Please and don't, please don't talk about people. <laughs> <laughs> so, crap. Yep. There's, there's seven people in the book, and only one of them likes you, and that's the only reason you've been getting any information out of it. Like, it feels like there's, like, seven people in here, and, like... Did you do that, or were they, like, pre-installed? <laughs> <laughs> this like, girl's not the smartest. She's just... <laughs> She's just a I'm... vampire. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. I had no idea there were seven people in it. Where did I? 
You didn't. You haven't been able to learn that damn thing about this book, except that your dad didn't want you to have it. You had to break into a store to get it. And that for some reason, it does not like you. <laughs> is the book on the desk, or is Oleander holding it? I haven't touched it. Well, it's on the, the book desk. is on the table. Mm-hmm. Can I reach my hand out to it like a, like you would to let a dog smell your hand? <laughs> I mean, sure. <laughs> well, that's weird. See if it like... <laughs> <laughs> I think that's our highest stat for most of us. For you two, it is. Yeah. Not your the highest. Monstrous and the spooky weird is the highest. That's stat. a ten again. Nice. The the voice in Oleandra's head, one of them anyway, is just like, "Oh, I like you. Well, you're pretty." You're <laughs> the, the... And it like ruffles its papers <laughs> at you. Can I can I pat it like a dog? <laughs> <laughs> It allows it. <laughs> I'll just keep patting it. Just gently. Have I have have I heard all seven voices, or have I only heard a select few? You have only heard four voices. Okay. All right. Cool. Um. Well, hey, why don't Rels? Why don't you go and hang out with Foxglove? You guys can try and figure something out. I gotta do a little bit more snooping. Okay. Just be careful. You look like so tired. Well, I am. <laughs> I'm not going to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Foxglove. Hi. So we're going to go for it. Hi, girl, I don't know your name. <laughs> uh, hi, you. <laughs> <laughs> Told you he doesn't know me. <laughs> oh, I can oh, are we uh, right? <laughs> yeah, that's me. We had Kim together. <laughs> <laughs> and Matt. <laughs> And also theater. <laughs> I like your other classes. Basically, I arranged my schedule. Again. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, so, how do we do this? I've never done this before. Well, since this is my workshop, can I just grab a few tools or whatever I would need to maybe break into a room or pick a lock? Roll plus sharp. See if you can find them in this mess. The book has been kind of fucking with you. Uh, oh, the book's been rearranging the room when you're not looking. I get it. <laughs> that is a plus nine. Yeah, it's it's your workshop. It's easy enough. The book has like shoved some things under a shelf, but it didn't go far enough. So like, <laughs> you've got you've got a set of lock picks somewhere, and it shouldn't be much you shouldn't need much more than that to break into a standard dormitory bedroom alright can I look around for some bookends on his shelves bookends? yeah Yeah. you know the things you put on the ends of the bookshelf yeah yeah Yeah. have a look around do I what's that is that sharp? yeah that's sharp okay let's see that's pretty good Six, seven, eight, nine. you guys roll so high (laughs) You find a pair that's, uh, it's a little old, kind of beat up. It looks like they were a prop for an old play that just ended up in this room. But okay. they're intact. I would like to squish the book in between them. <laughs> just on the desk against the wall and just sort of smush it in there. Are you trying to imprison it or trying to make it feel better? Well, I'm trying to, like, make it a little bed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just like talking to it, just be like, I think you'll be cozier in here. It's super warm. Like it's a person, because I can feel all these people in there. <laughs> you feel the light from this book at finally being treated with some respect. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's really friendly. That's great. Why did they bite you? <laughs> it's friendly. Yeah, like it's super happy right now. I. That's great. You're not happy. Is that because of me? <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm, not specifically because of you. Oh, that's great news. <laughs> okay, uh, Alejandra, what are you doing? I'm going to look for Cynthia. Okay. Um. Let's see. I'm gonna... 
I'm going to kill yeah, her. I'm going to have you roll plus sharp to see if you can figure out where she is. I can't roll anything. I suck at rolling. <laughs> good, good for hey, you. wait a minute. This one could be good. Wait, I gotta check my sharp. Yeah, this one's not bad. This one's a nine. Alright. It's not you, a ten, but it's a nine. <laughs> you kind of know where she is. Uh, you didn't spend a lot of time with her outside of practice just because she was a freshman and you were more popular than that. <laughs> That's all there was to it, really. She just wasn't cool enough to hang out at the cool kids' table. So Poor you kid. do know that she likes to hang out out front of the school at the fountain. It was apparently supposed to be a statue of a founder, but nobody remembers who the fuck it was. So it's just kind of this old dude holding a jug that's like dumping water for no reason. Cool. <laughs> but she likes to hang out there. Cool. And I will go look there. Is she there? She is absolutely there. Is She's... anyone else around her? No. She is alone. Cool. I'm going to... I'm going to take off my hood so I look a little okay. bit more friendly. Like, I mean, it's not like I've... I haven't gone full emo. Like, I haven't dyed my hair or anything, so it's still, like, the brown hair, and I still put on makeup and stuff like that. But, right. um... So I, I just... Now I just look like a girl in a, in a normal jacket. <laughs> in a normal black jacket. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and she is currently... Oh, God, sorry. She's currently doing, like, stretches on the grass. <laughs> cool. Staying up in form, I see, kiddo. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry, I, I didn't, I didn't hear you. Um, hi. Where, where have you been? Uh, you know, around. I'm took a break from the team. Had a lot going on. Is it? Is it because you went somewhere on fall break that you weren't supposed to? So, <laughs> Jasper, even if that were the truth, I wouldn't tell you. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe there's something you could tell me. You need something from me? Oh yeah. Yeah, but what can I do? What 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 do you need? So remember a few weeks back, I I mean, you know, when you just started and we're all still together and everything. Um, you and Sabrina, at least you you talked like you two were really close. I mean, well, I did. We, like, she, she went to the same middle school as me, <laughs> which, like, I thought it was really cool. We both ended up at the same, at the same like, school overseas. I totally didn't know she was here, and I, I definitely didn't, like, beg my dad to let me come here. I'm, I'm sure you didn't. <laughs> that was total <laughs> coincidence. This is totally the same. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> She's basically the harmless version of your cousin. <laughs> <laughs> the harmless version. <laughs> um, we're not actually trying to kill her. Won't try to kill you. Well, I, you know, I, I. Weird trivia question. Like, remember our our first practice? Could you do you remember like dumb things since you guys were so close? What was Sabrina wearing? What was her hair like? I'm trying to test her. I don't know if I have to roll for this, but I'm trying yeah, to test. Yeah, roll, roll charm for me. Okay. Um. Uh, that's an eight. Well, I mean, it was it was practice. We were all in our uniforms, so like her hair was probably I think it was in a ponytail. Was she wearing like a, a headband, anything like that? So I'm I'm sorry. Maybe I, I just thought you guys were really close, and I really liked that headband. So I was... no, no, no. We like we are. It's the it was the sparkly one, yeah. The like the silver head wrap one. Was it? I mean, I don't know if I remember. But like, was it a silver headband by chance? You don't remember, but she seems very certain okay. now. Great. Um, well, okay, that, that's good because there was something else of hers I was kind of like, I was like, oh, I would love to have that too. Um, have you ever seen her with like a, I don't know, like a red book? There was it red? I can't remember it. It was uh, plain leather. Plain leather. The book that yelled at you was red. Great. Uh, it's just like a leather journal or something, like you know. I... You mean her sketchbook? A sketchbook. Yeah. yeah See, I don't, was, I don't remember bad. her as a drawer. I don't think she'd started in it yet. It was like all the pages were blank. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. A sketchbook, huh? 
Yeah, like okay. the the one with the buckle. And yeah, yeah, with to have a buckle, the one that the book showed me. Yes. Yeah. Um, is there any chance that maybe I don't know, maybe she um, where she got it from? I, I would want something similar. I, I I doubt you know, but uh, you know, maybe maybe one of her closer friends does. Um. <gasps> roll roll plus charm for me one more time. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> That's a four. <laughs> get another experience. You do get another experience. I'm you leveling up so fast. You got like four of them now, right? I'm a three. <laughs> the uh, like hopeful look on her face just kind of sinks, and she crosses her arms. Um, I'm I'm, I'm looking to see if I have a spell at, I could do. <laughs> I don't know what you're playing at, but the head cheerleader position is only open to people who are on the cheer team, and Sabrina's coming back, so it's not even open. No, yeah, you're you're totally you, right. No, you you don't get to like replace people. No, I I would I would never. Who can who can replace Sabrina? Your headband and just a poser. <laughs> <laughs> the other girls are right. I don't think I want to talk to you anymore. Right, right. Well, you know, I she's gonna pick up her stuff and just walk away. I'm kind of jinx her on the way. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I want to hurt her. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> yes, I'm going to try and jinx her. Roll for use magic. Um. So it's that plus weird, right? Uh, yes, that would be plus weird. So that's uh eight. So I get okay. one hold on her. Yes. And I want her to lose something that I'm soon going to find. Oh, that's... That's a good one. <laughs> you watch her, like... She she feels this weird, like, chill run up her spine as she turns her back on you. And she starts walking faster. And in her haste to get away from you, she didn't zip up her backpack, and Good. the book falls out of it. A book? The book. The book. The book. The book. Ooh. Um, All out into the bush. And then, and then for she... for flavor, was anyone watching? Because the way I cast magic um, is kind of particular. No one was watching. She was out front alone. Good. Being a boarding school, there's not a lot of cause for people to be at the front of the school. Cool. Like outside in the courtyards, Good, and it's also early fall, so everyone's like, "It's fucking cold." <laughs> awesome, because if she had been watching, like the the weird little painted dots that I had around my eye, I kind of mm -hmm. lift underneath my shirt. I have this amulet. I kind of lift it up, and the dots spread out across the rest of my neck, and Ooh. then I put it back down. And so, um, but then so cool. I'll wait for her <laughs> to. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wait for her to walk away. A little bit further, she, and then I'll go pick up the book. She, like, jogs inside to go find the other cheerleaders who, you know, hang out in the library in, like, the back corner, eating ramen and reading magazines and just pissing off the librarian. Cool. <laughs> cool. Now I know where to find the cheerleaders for the future. Um, yeah, I will go and pick up the book, and I will... Well, I'm gonna go see if I can intercept my <laughs> cousin and <laughs> before they as break As soon him. as you go to touch the book, I need you to take one harm. Okay as it throws you across the courtyard. Throws um, me? Like it, like a magical push? Like a... Like, like, like a big whammy magical push. You are blasted away from this book. Okay. Like... Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm, I mean, I'll tumble and poof, 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 and then I'll kind of like... Okay, um... Um... And, and any like, any tips? And I'm kind of like thinking of the voice in my head, trying to communicate with it. The voice goes, "Ow, ow, 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 ow." <laughs> ow. <laughs> okay. Um. Maybe maybe somebody else can. Um. Uh, uh, I don't have the voices that you haven't heard before. Like, it, you lose all outside sound as this happens. It, like, tunnel visions, but for audio. And you hear just a very soft... You've only got room for one. Oh. And you blink, and it's been, like, three solid minutes that you've been sitting on your ass. 
<laughs> on the opposite side of the fountain from where you started, you hit the ground hard. Oh, okay. Um, is the book still there? The book is still there. Okay. Resting completely innocently under a bush. Okay. Um, I wish I could hide it or something a little bit better. Is it? Is it pretty well hidden? <laughs> like... It's it's fairly well hidden. It's a it's a leather book in a flower bed under a bush in a part of the school that a lot of people don't go. Great. So like we'll be all right for like five minutes, ten minutes. It, it's about as well hidden as it's gonna get. Cool. Then I will run inside to find my cousin and her stalker, <laughs> her stocky. <laughs> yeah. He's not stocking me. Her stocky. I don't. Uh, there's no word for that. <laughs> Other way around. <laughs> um, so I don't know how far they got during that entire interaction, but that's where... Uh, well, so up, like meanwhile, um, the solid three minutes was just you sitting on your ass coming back to from one yeah. of the voices you hadn't heard. Yeah. It, it, that was probably like a five-minute conversation, too, so... Yeah, so I'd say they'd found their way to Sabrina's room, having known where it was yep. pretty easily. Let me just... You think a cheerleader oh, would be able to tumble better? I could resize the fucking map. Not when you're hit with a magical force, probably. Yeah. Out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, you weren't expecting it, so you couldn't really brace for it. <laughs> it's okay. My tough isn't very good either. <laughs> hey, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have the same stats? I feel like we have the same stats. <laughs> Charm, a zero cool, a one sharp, a one tough, and a three weird. Oh, wow. That's really good. I have a one charm, zero cool, plus one sharp, minus one tough, plus two weird. I've got a negative one charm, plus one cool, plus two sharp, plus one tough, zero weird. Zero weird. Wow, you're so smart and. He's so our happy. human boy. He's our Robin. <laughs> <laughs> the door map is kind of small, I apologize. That's okay. That's okay. I have a zoom feature. Yeah, I'll do. There it Look. is. Oh, that's cute. <gasps> Look at where everybody oh, lives. Oh. <laughs> I want a purple rug. No, what, I want which room is mine? Can I claim a room? Yeah. <laughs> this side is the boys' dorm. This side is the girls' dorms. And uh, you can claim a room. Which one's Sabrina's? I will, I will say, this one is Sabrina's. Okay, then I um, want this one. <laughs> Alrighty. I want this one because I want to be next to my cousin. Perfect. Before it got awkward. And before we were before awkward. we were not cool. <laughs> yeah. So this one's mine. Back when we were friends. Yeah, it would be yours. <laughs> and ah, that's this about is the shower room. I, I wanna... And these are the girls and boys restroom. If I put a text on box. Area with a vending machine. If I put a text box, does it show up for everybody? Um, I don't see one yet. Are you just labeling your room? Yep. Yeah, I think only the DM can label for everyone to see. Okay, well that's fine. I'll label mine. Just for... I just want... Okay. ...to feel important. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> Alrighty. So. There is... A rather jarring sight in this hallway of dormitories. Standard. Oh no, I can see your your text box. Oh yeah, there it is. Yay! I'm gonna make it bigger. Keep going. Um, <laughs> well, I'm messing with this. <laughs> it's all the same kind of just standard wood doors with little whiteboards on the on them, kind of college style with everyone's names. And then at the very corner, at the end of the hall, there is the crime scene tape over Sabrina's door. What the door is the shut and people there is one girl up here she just popped up to grab a book out of her room before she heads back down to class. She doesn't really seem to pay any mind since you both have rooms on this floor. And so she's just going to go into her room and not really care what you're doing. So, how do we do this, Mr. Foxglove? 
Right. Um, yeah, I'm no, that's cool, but there aren't I. Weird. <laughs> weird. The one with the lock picks, Mr. Break and Enter. Mm -hmm. That probably seems a little weird to me there. So <laughs> the room is crossed off with tape, or? The door is, like, there's a... It's not really sealed up like a murder. It's just there's a there's a piece of crime scene tape across the door. Okay. Just gonna the door see if it's locked. It is locked. I guess I'll I'm going to have you roll plus cool to try and pick the lock. Okay. Sweat. Cool. I'm going to tell uh, Aurelia to uh, keep a lookout. I will keep a lookout. As an eight plus one, so nine. <laughs> Not that oh, is a mixed none. success. You get the door open. You uh. You bust the doorknob. Like, does it fall off, or...? It hangs kind of sideways Oh now. god, oh no. <laughs> you, uh, you had it, almost. You were... You were just there. It's a simple lock. You know how to pick these locks. You do it all the time. And then, like, mm. that stuck. And, like, it didn't just... You wouldn't just fucking turn. <laughs> so you mm -hmm. smack it. And the whole thing went clunk. But the door's open. I like Cannon's internal stream of thought. <laughs> Where are you? Come on, come on. Fuck. Just come on. Mm. Wow, was that supposed to happen? It's exactly what happened when we did it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was supposed to happen. Wow, you're really good at this. You did that, like, in no time at all. <laughs> Alright. What are you guys looking for? Um... We'll look for a shelf under the bed. Anywhere you might be able to hide a book. Alright. Roll plus sharp. That is, uh, one plus three plus two. That's not good. <laughs> yes, that's, that's it. That's a six. <laughs> Dang. Mark an experience point. Yeah. Welcome to the second <laughs> level, baby. <laughs> can I use... One. <laughs> can I use magic to try to see if there's any, like, lingering weird energy in here or anything? Oh. Psychically pick up on it. Roll plus weird. Okay. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. No. Not cool? That's a six. <laughs> <laughs> We're a great team. <laughs> <laughs> you... You focus. You've been practicing on this. You're try You try to, like, center yourself and just feel what's left in the room, you immediately get a blinding headache. Oh, ah, I need a cranberry juice. <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong? Headache. Ow. Your nose starts bleeding just a little bit. Uh, and then, and this then this a little bit more. Oh, God. No. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> it's just like in that one. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not because of you. I think there's bad things here. Okay, let's get out of here before you start bleeding on everything. Oh, it's fine. No, I've got it. i got it. I'll just, like, take my, uh, like, my, out of my side bag. I'll take my old cheerleader shirt and just under my nose. Oh, are you still part of the team, by the way? That's a good question. I don't... Um, I don't know if I would be the team if everyone's suspicious of me anymore. I mean, you could still be part of the team, and they would just be, like... Shunning you for now? Yeah, a little bit of ostracization. All right, sure, yeah, I'm part of the team, and I'm just bleeding into my uniform shirt. <laughs> I got it, it's good, I'm fine. 
all you're picking up is the you. Like, slammed you in the face like a frying pan. There was fear. There's a lot of fear in here. <laughs> I don't know what it's from, but it's super, like, fear. Like, like if it was a steak, there would be so much seasoning on it. <laughs> That's how it is. So much fear. <sighs> Just blood. <laughs> I'm just barely worried about how she's bleeding everywhere and that this is the crime scene. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Bleeding everywhere in the crime scene where you just broke the lock. I'm gonna sit on the bed. Just oh no, of course you are. <laughs> uh, Camden, what else would you like to do? Since I couldn't find anything. And since this is getting to be a very bad situation... <laughs> Actually, read a bad situation for me. Make... make... Ooh, yeah, that's a thing, isn't it? Oh, yeah, 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 you yeah. have moves and things that you can do. Cool. Alright, let's take a look. Okay. That was a 6 plus 2, so an 8. Nice. An 8. You... It's been bothering you since you were unlocking the door. That that crime scene tape, that's not the faded stuff that was put up two weeks ago. That's fresh. That's new. Hmm. That means you, you've been spending a lot of time in your little prop room behind the theater, but you feel like... You feel like that, that's probably a problem. That probably means that this investigation's still ongoing. Hmm. And that somebody might be coming back. Right. This is like uh, the perfect time for me to make my entrance. <laughs> am, I, am I there? He's <laughs> coming. Yes. Oh, dang it! I was hoping I could scare you guys. Through my, through my, through my, uh, shirt, I'll be like, Aliandra's coming. It's great. <laughs> Roll plus four for me, Aurelia. Just me? try and okay. stop the blood from flowing up here. <laughs> That's, uh, cool. That's a three. Mm. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> you get so excited that your cousin is coming, and you're so glad that you're friends again, and you don't even think about it. Your nose has finally stopped bleeding. You set your bloody cheerleader shirt on the pillow. Oh, my so God. Right on the pillow. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that, okay. I'll put you, don't even, you don't even think about it. You just set it down and get up to greet your cousin. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> and I, I, I mean, I'll, as I approach, I notice that the door is like jangled, and I, I'm gonna just kind of like nudge the door. I'm like, "What the hell are you doing?" <laughs> Do I notice that she put her bloody tear on the pillow? Roll, roll full sharp for me. <laughs> <laughs> I have to work an experience for that, right? Yeah, you got an experience. <laughs> I have two. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> That's a ten total. Oh, you notice, nice. You notice very quickly. You panic. You also notice that you're running out of time in here. It is almost time for class to start again. The lunch is only an hour long, and you are... Yeah. yeah. You are out of time. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's get out of here. Yeah, um... The door? I'm gonna crack the pillow and the... Cheerleader uniform. <laughs> you're just carrying it. I'm gonna give it to you. It's your uniform. The bell rings as you're exiting this room with a bloody pillow and cheerleader uniform after breaking the doorknob. Wait, like, is there like a moment of clearance, or are we like? No, the girl from the end of the hall came up to get her notebook. Sees all three of you leave Sabrina's room with what appears to be evidence. I want to do mental dominion on her. I was also going to do that. I was ready. I was ready. Oh, it's also weird. Okay, okay that's pretty good. <laughs> so fast. That's not great. Why uh, didn't we go out the window? <laughs> There's no window. <laughs> the face is the floor. Okay, what does a mental dominion do? It says on a 10 plus... Or wait... 
On a ten plus, hold three. On a seven to nine, hold one. Okay, so you get th- you get three holds. You get holds. three choices from your list there. Okay. You may spend your hold to give them an order. Okay. Regular people will follow your order, whatever it is. Hunters can choose whether they do it or not. Okay, um, I'll give them an or. I'll just stare her down. And since I know most people, I'll just call her by name. This would be Heather. Heather! Heather! <laughs> hi! You should probably forget about this and go downstairs. I should forget about this and go downstairs. We're late for Jim, girl! I'm late for Jim! And she's going to run towards the stairs. Oh god, she doesn't have Jim this period. <laughs> she's going to be like for our next class. <laughs> Are, are we good? Like, I mean, I, I'm. If anyone else is, I, I have stuff. If we need to do other stuff, but <laughs> are we? Um, hide the, uh, Roll for read a bad situation. Okay. Um, I'm relatively smart. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Evidently. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that's really good. That's like a twelve. Okay, Heather was the only one upstairs that you saw. It's quiet up here. Most people spend their lunch downstairs because they don't want to get like stuck at the top of the stair dorms to get back down to class in time. Great. You're pretty sure there's some health code violations going on with the fire hazards and such, but there's like fire extinguishers up here, so it's not that bad. Cool. Uh, <laughs> Glad we're safety first. <laughs> safety first. Uh, it, there aren't a lot of ways to get down from the dorms. There is the main staircase just from the... Uh, the common area. Oh, right, but is it more just as long as, like, I, I just want to make sure there's no one in the immediate area that could have seen... There is no one in the immediate area. You are in the clear. Have I? You're pretty sure your mental dominion worked and that she will forget about that. Great, so... I'm gonna forget about that. We should go to my room and hide that stuff. I... She, yeah. Um, the, the thing that you bled on? Because that... I don't know why we have to... <laughs> like... Like, I can put it in my room. Why are you? Oh, that's blood. <laughs> I, 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 I think we're in the clear. As long as you guys didn't leave anything else in the room and we walk away from this fucking door, I think we're fine. <laughs> I mean, like, my room's right over there. I could put the pillow under my bed and, like, it's my blood. Except for now there's a pillow missing in her room. <laughs> well, we well, can't put it down. Huh? Said, and a broken door now. All right. Let's just, let's just, we're, you know what, just leave it, we're fine, they, they don't have anything on us. We are late for class. I, that's, fine. that's pretty usual for me though, so I'm, I'm not too stressed. <laughs> I'm a new are person now. Are you holding the pillow, Kenan? Yes. I'm gonna grab your arm you? and yank you into my room. You guys have the pillow? I thought you were leaving the pillow. Oh my god. Nope, I'm leaving the pillow in, in her room. In, in whose room? Your room. Oh okay. god, why? <laughs> you could have left the pillow. The blood, I, will, the, the, I will shove the pillow and the cheerleading uniform under my bed. <laughs> and okay. just, like, book it downstairs. Knock, knock, <laughs> random door exchange. <laughs> 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 uh, oh, earliest pillow and just toss it into the uh, Sabrina's room. Swapping pillows? Yes. Roll plus cool for me. And I'm, I'm keeping a lookout, I guess. That is... Here, nine plus one. That's a ten. Nice. All the pillows look the same. You grab hers. You swap them out. You don't even like step foot farther in the room. You just kind of huck it towards the bed. <laughs> that's exactly what I wanted to do. Pretty, pretty clever. All right, let's go. I'm running to my next class like super fast with dried blood on my face because I forgot about it. Excellent. No one's telling her about it. <laughs> As you hit the bottom of the stairs, you see the headdress talking to police officers. Namely, a an officer and a detective. Are we, like, in their... Grand Castle? Okay. I have to go see the castle that is for sale. Okay. So, like, <laughs> so, quick break. Uh, plot out what you're going to do without the gods listening. Okay. Alright. As long as we are clear of the 
headmistress, we have no problem, although I, I wish you had not taken the pillow. <laughs> we switched them out. Yeah, yeah. It's my blood in my room. Yeah, I, I know, but even if we had left the blood in her room, if they had done a blood trial, that would have taken weeks. <laughs> we have all kinds of time. We just solved the murder before then, and then we're golden. <laughs> Uh, and only she gets directly charged for uh, <laughs> trespassing. There you yeah. go. <laughs> yeah, like, the evidence is just me. Not to mention, they probably have some photos from before, so like, yeah, I broke into the room after the girl was dead. <laughs> 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 she had my stuff. <laughs> they returned to the scene of the crime. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I, was, I mean, obviously, that, that was one of the things I was worried about. <laughs> I'm like, well, it's going to look like we're like, oh, they forgot something and they're cleaning up there. <laughs> Uh, this character is so scary, honestly. Like, she just yelled at a girl and she did what she said. It was really cool. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I'm, I'm really enjoying, like, my, my weird powers of, like, jinxing thing. Like, oh, you dropped something. Like, that's cool. I'm like... It's... Yeah, that was, that was so, like, serendipitous. Yeah. And now we gotta, we gotta go deal with that. And I haven't gotten the chance to tell you guys that, but we have class. <laughs> We all have the same class, and we can just, like, pass notes and... <laughs> is this the age where we have texts? Can we text each other? I don't know! What time period is this? <laughs> I mean, someone mentioned phone, right? I think someone mentioned a phone at one point. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it looks like there are computers on the tables. Okay, so okay. <laughs> we're at least in the 21st century. Modern times. <laughs> Joke's on us. This is 1995. <laughs> numbers is the question because Ken doesn't know <laughs> well I mean I'd imagine yeah, I'd imagine with you and Canon because Canon what was your you relationship again my number I don't know how you got it <laughs> yeah, you're right I do have your number I'm took sure. it off my phone <laughs> I just look at it sometimes <laughs> hoping that one day he'll text you even though he doesn't have your number <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <pretty much. laughs> I think this is just so cool well, I, I forget, like, your relationship is he knows something, he knows what he, you know what he did to me. Yes, I know what he did to you. Right. Or that I meant for you to get spooky. Right. Yeah. And I met him about that, because basically I think I know that he changed your aura with that freaky book. Right. And I know he meant to do it. Gotcha. Gotcha. But, like, I don't think we're, like, friends like you guys are. I, I'm not even sure. Our, our, our relationship's interesting, because, like, even though I don't know that he d did it on purpose or anything like that, it's just more like, a, I don't know what he knows about me, really, so I'm trying to be careful. Um, but, like, were you guys friends when you were breaking in and stealing Yes, stuff? yes. Okay. But from what I, from what yeah. it sounds like, once, once you got your thing, you dipped, right? Is that kind of what the... I mean, I would have had no real reason to stay there. It's right. like, all right, got the book. Okay. Right. So you were a we pastor and you abandoned your friend and you meant for her to get spooky. You're a jerk. Why do I even like you? Yeah, I mean, that, that, <laughs> but it makes sense. Because he's tall. Because <laughs> he's tall. <laughs> and boy tall. vibe is so cool. I just like. You got a whole snack. You got a whole snack. Just to make sure like, you got out of the place. Okay, so it, it, I imagine that I would, let's say, I'm imagining how my, my whole spooky would have happened. It might have taken a while, like I might have had been like bonded and that might have been a process, but, so that that's the part that I'm like, oh, I, I'm like how, you didn't see the bonding, I would imagine. How I envisioned the uh, binding working was that uh, this was a fancy old bookstore that had like the antique books in cases and the book bonded with whoever touched it first gotcha so i probably would have handed it to him yeah so like he opened the case you grabbed it and then he closed and locked the case again cool cool so it, it's not like a longer process it, it would have been pretty instantaneous Yes, the binding was instantaneous, and then the voices started appearing as the bond grew. Great. And is the reason that I know Canon meant to do it because I have these psychic powers? Yes. Okay. Your psychic he, powers. He didn't tell he, me. I'm just still talking. No. Okay. You had a you had a crush on him before your powers ever developed, 
And as soon as your powers developed and you realized you could start learning things about people that people, like, nobody had to tell you, you absolutely had to figure out what was going on in dark, d- <laughs> tall, dark, and broody's mind. You had to know what was happening. I'm just in class, like... It's your special <laughs> little secret. <laughs> You're going to use it. You found out that he intended for Alejandra to bind to the book. Good. So, I got it. He knows He knows what happened to me. I don't know that he knows what happened you to me. You have no idea that he knows, so you're trying to keep it on the down low. But, and yeah, he's just like, yeah, I like that. It. Talk to the book. Tell it I'm friendly. <laughs> right. I like it. Cool, cool, cool. Is there also another artifact that... Yeah, I, I would have... I imagine that my magic comes from an artifact, which... Your amulet? Which is an amulet. amulet that yep. you have was yeah. on the front of the book like a seal. Mm. Cool. That works. As soon as you grabbed it, the amulet detached itself and slid off. So the binding goes to whoever has the amulet, cool. but whoever picks up the amulet is the one who touched it first, which is why you couldn't pick up the other book. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Cool. Because magic books are a jealous breed. They, they certainly are, and we gotta figure out what to do with that one. <laughs> it's amazing how it works out. So right now, I'm staring at the headmistress and the police. Yes, the headmistress, a detective, and a, uh, a standard officer. Okay. And she is that very, very distraught woman. Uh, Luckily, her gun is nothing compared to my hunting rifle. <laughs> or my shotgun. <laughs> she is very... She's a little, like uncomfortably tall like Cannon is a huge dude she's taller than Cannon mm. and she has this gorgeous chestnut hair and pale skin and dark brown eyes she's a gorgeous woman who enjoys wearing floor length tweed skirts she's got a bit of a thing for Victorian style is this the headmistress or the police officer? <laughs> the headmistress okay alright <laughs> The police officer looks very much like a... Standard police officer. <laughs> standard police officer. He's wearing a white button-down with his, like, shoulder holster, holsters exposed and slacks because business casual. Sure. What's, um... I mean, we, we, know, we know this without talking to her. What's the headmistress's name? Headmistress is Lady Craven. Lady Craven. Craven. And Craven oh. Elite Academy. Her family has run the school for generations. Cool. Lady Craven. Lady Craven. Tall, chestnut hair, Victorian dress style. Definitely vampire. <laughs> oh yeah, pale skin. I forgot pale skin. Yep. Yes, she is pale. Do I sense weird energy from her, or just distraughtness? You sense just crushed. Just she is so upset about this whole thing. Sabrina was her daughter. <laughs> <laughs> One of her students is just gone. And as someone who prides herself in the rearing of young children, it's it's very hard on her. Cool. That's it. Yeah. So, are we... Th- I, I'm assuming that all three of us came down downstairs. We stashed everything. We're starting to move downstairs, and that's when... I ran ahead of all you guys. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, threw the pillow in the room and booked it. All right. Yeah. Well, I guess, I guess Operation Investigation's over, so... Yeah, we've run out of time for this investigation. Uh, so, Arlia, you do see them first, and the, uh, uh... Not the detective, just the regular officer turns and sees you with blood all over your face and goes, Are you alright? No. Yeah, I get these, like, every winter. It's so annoying! Well, it's here, autumn. Here, here, here. <laughs> he puts the pack of Kleenex out of his pocket and goes, Here, you might want to, like, clean up your face there. You are so nice, my gosh. <laughs> I'm super late for class because I was bleeding. <laughs> and my friends wait. were helping me, so I'm just waiting for them to come. Lady Craven's like, Miss Lemro. Uh, have you tried drinking more water? Have you tried the Vaseline? We did discuss the Vaseline. <laughs> yeah, like, they're super random, though, so I never know when to put it in. You know what I mean? Well, as long as you're feeling all right now. Uh, who who did you say was helping you? My cousin and her uh, friend. 
So yeah. I guess I'm work walking down. Yeah, I guess this is, this is now when we will emerge. <laughs> well, now that all three of you are late, I might as well walk you to class. Excuse me, detective, my charges. <laughs> the, the detective's just, of course, stand, we'll be in your office. I'm going to, okay. is there any chance I can kind of peek at his notes or something? Like, is there, like, any chance I can kind of see what they were talking about? Oh, roll plus cool. Right. Oh, hold on. I dropped my delay. <laughs> nope! <laughs> That's a five. <laughs> <laughs> more experience, guys. I only have one more night level. <laughs> <laughs> you are, how were you popular? How were you popular at all? Like the least cool person. I, I gave up. I gave weird. up my cool and my charm for weird. I <laughs> changed. Change, man. Yeah. Change. Not cool anymore. One from the one day to the <laughs> Yeah, you you do see that the other officer is holding a notebook and like he's got a pen out. He was clearly like either reading off notes or writing notes down, but you can't see what it is because he's also holding a pack of Kleenex over it and, like, handing the, handing something to Aurelia. I'll curse under <laughs> my breath. <laughs> with him and, like, complimenting his uniform and stuff. <laughs> you think your buckle's so shiny. I have to. It's the uniform. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you, you kids are just, I'll like, just what? Just for fun. <laughs> Just for fun. There's a lot of confusion and worry coming off of him. He's very new to the force. He's like the baby-faced officer. He's He looks very sweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just stealing his emotions then. And, uh... The detective is going to look you three over as the headmistress is getting ready to herd you down the hall to your classes and go, Just a minute there. Uh-huh. Oh no, man. <laughs> man, I'm late for class. You just go... <laughs> yeah. I am yeah. late for class. Since you're late already. <laughs> yeah, we have to get that quickly. <laughs> you're gonna ruin my perfect attendance, that. detective? <laughs> all of you are just talking. He's just like... Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, You two were on the cheerleading squad, weren't you? Yep. I was. I still am. How well did you know Sabrina? I was on it. <laughs> He's a liar. He was uh, not. Pretty well. Yeah, we were friends. We used to be pretty close. Yeah. She didn't happen to say anything to you. Just appeared. No. Like she was super happy all the time. Hmm. No uh, new hobbies. New friends that you hadn't met before. Would we know any of her hobbies? Um, I'd say if you were pretty good friends, you'd know that she did enjoy music. The, uh, you can kind of see in her dorm there. She's got in the a little electric keyboard. No. Yeah, she was really good at piano. You're also like right across from her, so you'd probably know at least a few of them. Shut up, Sabrina. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Sabrina, your heart will go on, but this song will not. <laughs> it's Sabrina's hobby. Turn the synth down. Learn the damn song. <laughs> um, thing we know. She didn't mention any new friends at all. Maybe a new boyfriend she was going into town to meet. I didn't even know she was dating anybody. I'm gonna look at Aleandra, like, do you know? I have not talked to Sabrina in, like, months at this point, so I'm just going, do I know she was dating anyone? <laughs> like... He's just trying to get, like, a standard read, see if the teenagers know something that the teachers don't. I, I definitely she don't. She was into dating, like, she never mentioned any guys. Mm. What girls? Oh. Oh. I won't waste any more of your time, then. Thank you. And the other officer's going to flip back through his notes and just, like, kind of shake his head and cross something off. <laughs> Not the teens. <laughs> <laughs> That's too stupid. Too dumb. Uh, we should know better than to interrogate your leader. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. Oh, you there's do... this tall guy behind you that's giving off this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's like this guy that looks like a murderer. He give curious glances up to you. Like you're a little bit taller than the officer, and he's just like, "Let me feed you here." <laughs> like, like you're you're huge, and the headmistress is taller. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's like, "What? Okay. Um, thank you for your time. We uh, we're going to be around campus today. So if you think of anything." Please, let us know. Yeah, sure thing. Okay. And then the headmistress will guide you all to your <laughs> respective classes. Just kind of shake at sighing, and she kind of like pats Arlia on the head a little bit. <laughs> that was really nice of you, thank you. Just, you, you poor thing. Uh, try to stay hydrated. I have so much cranberry juice. It's in my bag. Cranberry juice is diuretic, man. That's not. It won't keep you hydrated. What? <laughs> 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 <It's laughs> the opposite. BuzzFeed said. You just been drinking cranberry juice. <laughs> <laughs> I read on a health blog that it was so good for you. I mean, so it's I like three cases, and they're in my room. <laughs> there are a lot of benefits to cranberry juice, but please also consider water. <laughs> man, water doesn't taste like anything. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's just like, oh no. <laughs> and she's gonna drop you off at science. <laughs> With Cannon. I'm in the same class as Cannon because I copied his schedule. <laughs> yep, she's gonna drop you and Cannon off at science and walk Aleandra I'm in very math. deliberately to math. And I have my head, I put my, my hoodie back on the minute I. She pulls your hood off. <laughs> I'll wait till she's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you're walking by her, you put your foot up, and she just... <laughs> soon, soon, soon. Holds her foot back down and <laughs> opens the door to the math class. Excuse her tardiness, she was uh, speaking with the detectives. And I make no eye contact with <laughs> anyone in the room. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, ah, yeah, thank you, headmistress. But that's good cover. Like, teacher's just hanging out. At, <laughs> teacher's hanging out at his desk with a coffee, and everyone's just kind of like on their phones. And she's just like, "You're supposed to be teaching geometry, Jeffrey." <laughs> Jeffrey don't know nothing about geometry. <laughs> <clears throat> Jeffrey. <laughs> Ooh, fresh out of high school. Jeffrey wants to teach <laughs> Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey's just. Oh, we're uh, watching an instructional video on YouTube. You have a projector, Jeffrey. Why are they on their phones? And she's just like. Gently admonishes the math teacher for like twenty minutes. <laughs> it gets a little uncomfortable. Um, where is my math class? Am I able to see the front of the school from it? You are not. The classrooms are all at the back of the school. Okay. They face out over this, towards the uh, back. They tried to do like a hedge maze garden area, but like keep the hedges low so that you could like see where you were. And so that, you know, teenagers don't get up to funny business in the hedge maze. Oh. So it's like a waist-height maze. <laughs> <laughs> that, there's still some funny business. I mean, I, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Everything good. below the belt. <laughs> oh, All you gotta do is stand there and pretend like you're texting or something. Yeah. <laughs> texting with your phone below your waist. <laughs> it's just at heart, you know, but it's... Like, there's, the, there's like, outdoor alcove, alcove for study areas, and a lot of students use them during the nicer months, but it's it's cold, and there's, like, bare trees. Okay. Trees and bears. Surprised to say, you're not, you're not really paying attention to class right now. Yeah. Roll plus weird for me. Me? All of us? Some? Who? Just me? Just you. <laughs> okay. That's an eight. That's an eight plus your weird? Yeah. No, no, no. Eight counting my weird. Okay. Uh-huh. As you're staring out into the yard, you... You see movement. I'm not sure what kind of movement. You lean a little bit to the side in your desk. You get a little bit closer to the window and you just kind of squint out of it. You see a nightgown. <gasps> oh no. 
Is there somebody in the nightgown? <laughs> you just see a hem of a nightgown come behind a tree. Just a hem. In the breeze. I'm sloughing. You're sloughing? I'm You're just sloughing. gonna get up and leave? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Every class room talk about it. <laughs> I would. You're not paying attention to class. He's not paying attention to you. He turned on a movie. Cool. I'm. I'm gonna. I would like to. I would like to get up and leave. But really quickly, can I? I don't know where their. Do I know where their math class is? Their science class. Yeah, that's it. Hey, Kenan, you wanna be lab partners? <laughs> you would know where their science class is, as the headmistress dropped them off before you. <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> right. 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 <laughs> Put the phone away, please. I'm looking up uh, the formulas for this. You only have your textbook for the formulas. It's it's not even a hard formula. You're putting dish soap in the water. <laughs> Put the dish soap in the water with the eyelet. It's, it's a very... I wrote it on the board. <laughs> Um, is there is there a class? Like, what what's the window? Is it frosted? Can I look in? Can they see out? Uh, they can see out and you can see in. It's like the um, it's the kind of textured glass. It looks like the old school uh, classroom window doors, the just big window. So if you get close enough, they can see that it's like it's you. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm, I'd like to get close enough, and if they notice me, otherwise I will use magic to make them notice me. <laughs> Do we know? Uh, you two roll chart and see if you notice. Sure. Okay. And you roll a plus weird just to... Cool. I'm going to do... I'll, I'll just do a use magic. It'll be kind of like a jinx, but I'm trying to make a little bit more obvious of an effect. Oh, it? Twelve. <laughs> this is still going to happen. Seven. <laughs> and I got I got a, an eight. <laughs> okay. Aurelia, you know immediately when your cousin has left her classroom and you're just like, oh, here she comes. <laughs> <laughs> that he's ignoring me, but also, hey, hey, Alejandra's coming. She feels super weirded out, though. I don't know what that means. And do I notice? Do I notice that they notice me, or am I still going through with this spell? <laughs> are they? Are you waving at her to like? Are you giving um, any indication that you know? Has the teacher notice that? Uh, is the teacher watching us, I guess? The teacher has turned around and is pointing to the different parts of the formula that she wrote on the board, trying to get Cannon to understand that he doesn't need to be <laughs> on the phone. Door. <laughs> oh, 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 um, and then start pointing and be like, get, you know, we let's come out. <laughs> I will put a bunch of tissues in front of my face and stand up dramatically <laughs> and say, whatever her name is, <laughs> the teacher... You can name her. Mrs. Claren, my nose is bleeding so oh, hard. Oh, 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 dear. Again? Honey. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just going to go to the bathroom. I'll do that. Of course, I don't want to fall again. Like, you know what I mean? Again? Okay. Cannon, <laughs> go with her. All right. And I'll just drag him out of the room. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, no, was she okay? <laughs> She has like some. It's funny that she's like a vampire with like bleed, and she just bleeds all the time. <laughs> a mental strain. Oh. Um. Once our all weird guy with you. <laughs> Nothing. The strongest one in the class. <laughs> and then we're going to the hedge mages. So, so that makes. Sense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm getting some fresh air. Be like, hey, hey. As soon as the girl comes to be like, hi. Hey. What do you want? What's up? Nightgown. Hedge mage. We should go. Is a hedge mage? Hedge- <laughs> <laughs> I play way too much Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> hedge mage. Konunze. <laughs> After Beezer dies, that's my new character is going to be the hedge mage. <laughs> <laughs> we need another shrubbery. <laughs> it's a wall of plants. <laughs> 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 Yeah. I'm trying to figure out what is going on. I've got three words. <laughs> what? Mage. There's a nightgown. Let's go. No time. It's going to be gone. We need to go. Okay. Yeah. Alright, sensing your urgency, I'll just scoop both of your elbows into mine, like, 
Hooray, let's go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd like to go lead them out back. Alright. Uh, I would like you to read a bad situation. Uh, Who's doing this? All of you. Okay. Oh. Not bad. I think that's a seven. Five. Fall off again. Five. Cool. I'm the guy. Got it. <laughs> Mark out another XP. <laughs> I have to give you consequences for these. <laughs> oh my god, I marked my experience. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you marked experience for this. Okay, okay. Everyone except Al- Alejandra. Right. Uh, hey, Alejandra. You've got just enough, but uh, you have to have consequences. Okay, um. <clears throat> Yeah. You see the uh, nightgown that Alejandra was talking about, and Arlia, you recognize it from one of the uh, cheerleader gym slumber parties that you get permission to do. You very quickly recognize that as Sabrina's nightgown. Then you recognize that it is way higher than it should be. Like floating or like cut high? No, like, uh, (laughs) Above where, like, a norm- where it would ha- uh, hang on a person of normal height. Okay. Like, you- you're catching glimpses through the mostly bare trees. And you're like, that's- that's- that's wrong. She's not that tall. She's not nearly that tall. Oh, no. Oh, god, is this what I think it is? <laughs> it is not worse than this. In fact, it's worse. I have no idea. <gasps> As you get closer, you're just like at this point hopping over the various parts of the hedge maze because it's so short. You're just like straight line towards this nightgown to see what the fuck is happening. And then you see a foot. Oh. A hoofed foot. Hooked? Slam into the ground beside the tree. It is way taller than anything should be. And this awful, twisted, elongated form with like pale long arms and huge huge clawed hands and a deer's skeleton head oh. comes out from behind the tree oh god the things you thought were branches were antlers and it is going to bellow at all of you and Alejandra since you were leading the charge you were in the front it's going to swing at you uh. Is it wearing the nightgown, or is the nightgown just it's floating? It's wearing the nightgown. It's wearing the nightgown? Oh, no. It is wearing the nightgown. Oh, no. And it is going to try and swipe at you with one of its massive clawed hands. Oh, no. Oh, no. I have a knife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to. I don't think oh. I brought. Okay. With a 10, you are going to take three harm as it slams oh my into your God. side <laughs> with a clawed hand and lifts you up to its face. Uh, what are the rest of you doing? Um. Uh, out. Yeah. Um. So uh, does it does it have her? It does not have her. It is wearing the nightgown she was last seen in. No, no, no. But you said what did it do to Alejandra? It, it... Oh, yes. No, it grabbed her, and it's like digging talons into your sides. It's like ripping part of your hoodie, and it you take three harm as it is digging its nails into your ribs. Okay. Um. I would like. I want to use magic, but I'm not sure what to do with it yet. Um, I want to inflict harm on it with magic. Okay. Because one of my effects is okay, inflict roll. harm. <laughs> roll for use magic. Okay, 
Come on, come on. <laughs> oh, that's really good. That's a... Uh, that's a... F 9 plus 2, 11. Okay, what do you want? I want it yeah. to... Bite its own tongue. <laughs> bite its own tongue? Bite its own tongue, hurt himself, and then I'm going to hex him as well. <laughs> okay, what does the uh, hex do for me? To harm immediately. Okay. It makes this awful noise. It's like nails on a chalkboard times a million. And Arlie, you feel just a surge of panic. You're not sure who it's coming from. But there is. There is so much fear, and you feel a little bit of the nosebleed coming back. And, <laughs> like, um, this thing bellows and tightens its grip for a second on Aleandra, and then it drops her like it, like she burns just straight down. Take one harm from landing damage. Oh god, are you okay? <laughs> and I run forward and like put myself in front of her in front of Aleandra and look up at it and use my dark negotiator, which lets me use the manipulate someone move on monsters as well as people. Ooh. If they can reason and talk. I don't know if it can reason and talk. Huh? <laughs> Roll for it. Okay. Man, okay. It's a seven. It's a ten total. Wow. Okay. That's, that's a hold three, but I don't know what that means. You get three choices. So you have a list of things that that trait can do, and you can choose three of them. I what? Where? So it's a. Uh, so your monster. Mm -hmm. And you did the what move again? The uh, dark um, negotiator. Yeah, that's what it falls under. Okay, so um, so go to manipulate someone. That's under the basic moves. Under basic moves, and you can uh, choose three from that list to do. Oh, well, okay, wait. Someone. It's on the uh, other reference sheet. Oh, well, I don't have that. <laughs> Hold on. As well as people. Basically, um, did, you said your mental... You wouldn't have your mental domination, because your mental domination is the one that gives you holds. If you did Dark Negotiator, you just ask it to do something. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna ask it to stop hurting us. <laughs> I'm gonna try it's to stop hurting us. It's going to look at you, look at its hands, look back at you, and do that screech noise again. But it's going to retreat into the woods. Okay. <laughs> I think it worked! <sighs> Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> What's that? It hit you! The, fir the second time, it hit you the first. <laughs> no, it hit you. Both you times? Only Aleandra. All right, hold up, then I got a couple things to mark. <laughs> oh, you what? Have four? Yeah, damage? I have more than that. Oh. Oh God, how hurt are you? I had that one from earlier. If it's the oh, four right. and the one, I have six now. Also, I am unstable. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you are definitely unstable. Aleandra is bleeding a lot. All right. I do <laughs> anything to stabilize it right now. I can under pressure. All right. What is unstable? I've heard about this. <laughs> I've heard about this sort of thing. The time that I got. <laughs> oh, sure. <Injury>. So cool. <laughs> I've heard about the specific type of injury. <laughs> you can roll with cool instead of act under pressure. No, with sharp instead of cool. Okay, go for I've it. I've heard about this sort of thing. Cool. I mean, it's you cool. have had to research a lot of first aid lately with that book trying to eat. Mm-hmm. See here, that's eight plus two, so that's a ten. Alrighty, that is. You do what you set out to. What is un okay. I'm trying to find out. What does unstable mean? 
Unstable means that you are like about to pass the fuck out and you need a hospital. Okay, well I need a hospital, guys. <laughs> I'll just like hold her and be like, I don't know what to do. Should I run? Should I go get something? What should I do? Um. Okay. Cannon, you uh, you pull some weird MacGyver bullshit. You <laughs> pull off your own jacket and like tie it around her bleeding ribs, just to like apply pressure to the wound. And you're getting ready to think of the other first aid that you need when you hear. What the hell is going on out here? And see the detective and the officer from earlier. Oh no. The detective oh, has his gun out and is like, he, he wants to be pointing it at you, Cannon. <laughs> <laughs> of course he does. He really wants to be pointing it at you. I'm super dying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the thing that the detective and the officer just walked in on was... <clears throat> Alejandra bleeding from random wounds, Cannon using his jacket to try and try to try and tie them shut, Aurelia bleeding from the face again, and none of you in class where you were supposed to be where the headmistress walked you. <laughs> During an active investigation. Mm-hmm. Hey. Blood everywhere. Something's wrong. Thank you. <coughs> I give you the blessing of the law. <laughs> I'm gonna need a lot more than that. <laughs> give the three of you. Look, at the woods. Look back at Alejandra, and the uh, officer in uniform is going to call for an ambulance because Alejandra is losing consciousness. Mm -hmm. I've stabilized her for now. I think. I am. No, you it doesn't work like that. Would I know if there's anything? I'm dying. <laughs> Someone kill me. Like my magic to help her or no? Um, you can do that. Okay. Um, at the moment, you would not be able to do anything because there are two police officers standing over you, and they don't know magic is real. Well, I'll just keep holding her and being bled on then. Yep. <laughs> I that see. All that's happening. My 16 years of life flashing before my eyes. <laughs> are my voices <laughs> talking? Are, glued to the windows right now. Like, if you glance back at school, everyone is staring out the windows, and you can you can feel the gossip, Aurelia. Like, <laughs> no one knows the giant deer monster fighting us. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> it's like, we just got attacked. It was yelling, scream, or scream very loudly, and I'm not sure if anyone saw it. Attacked by what? Like the detective the detective is still standing over you. He does still have his gun drawn, and he is looking at the woods. He's like, what happened? One of you start talking. I'm not able to. <laughs> I mean, something came out of the woods. Something came, something came out of the woods. I point down to the or an impression left on the ground from the giant thing stomping down. Uh, make a uh, roll for sharp real quick to see if there's any evidence you can see. This is your skill. Oh. You can do it, you can do it. <laughs> oh, God. That's too much. Oh, my God. He does not believe you. He is, like, actively oh. standing between you and the girls now, and he does have his gun aimed a little bit at you. Can I can I try to back him up and be like, no, it was something, it was like a bear or a mud lion or something. <laughs> it was so big thing. That's yeah. just charm. Okay. Because you are now lying to an officer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Seven plus... Nine. Okay. <laughs> It's not bad. He's going to, like, look over his shoulder back at you. A bear? I don't know what it was. It was a big thing. It had claws. Look at her. She's bleeding. He couldn't have done that. Oh, God, kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to keep you alive. Leander, you are unconscious. I'm unconscious now. <laughs> you are unconscious. You have passed out. Okay, somebody heal me before I die. I'm only one away from dying, guys. <laughs> I will say that the encounter has ended and you are now technically stable, 
but they are going to be taking you to a hospital. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and, uh, Cannon, you are now wearing cuffs. <laughs> the the officer has you in handcuffs now and is like, all right, all right. You're not in the clear yet either, Missy. Because a bear bit my cousin? There's no bear. <laughs> you think I bit her? Look at my mouth. <laughs> Vampire fangs. <laughs> 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 Alright, you're done you're done talking now. We're going to the office. Come on. And the detective and the officer are going to drag you two to the principal's office Come while on. Alejandra is being loaded into an ambulance and taken to the hospital in town. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh, no. oh but now I gotta see the map of the town. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking wish. <laughs> I made three rooms. <laughs> <laughs> Have they ever seen me for anything? They're about to. Oh man, then they're gonna find my dagger. And both of cannons. I mean, I was only carrying one. I was only carrying my magical dagger. You're I left my last knife in the other room. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, they definitely find the knives on you too. <laughs> oh my god, of course. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't bring my giant sword. <laughs> And I have all these slash marks. <laughs> Your movie distant cousin is covered in fresh slash marks. Only surrounded by you two, and you two had knives. <laughs> there is also the uh, ever prevalent gossip that the three of you killed Sabrina. <laughs> this looks like we're trying to make a silent here. <laughs> yep. It does. Oh, no. <laughs> it really does. And now I'm I'm going to give you a little saving grace so that this doesn't end with you two in prison. <laughs> I'm going to say that they do give you your one phone calls. Oh, anyway. Actually, no, they call your parents. They, they call your families. Uh-huh. Uh, and they do give you the chance to talk to them. You're both being kept in the principal's office because the town is very far away and they don't want to, over like, <laughs> they don't want to risk you two getting out in case you are violent, dangerous criminals. <laughs> so they've got you in the headmistress's office with the office locked and the uh, uniformed officer sitting in there with you. Are we in uh, or... You're both in handcuffs, yeah. <laughs> Arlia, your mom gets there first. <laughs> Along with Alejandra's dad. <laughs> You're led in by the officer, and your mom looks at you and goes, Arlea Lemro, what the hell did you do? I didn't do anything, I promise. I don't believe you, young lady. This is twice now. <laughs> I mean, look, I got twice. twice. Uh, <laughs> the second oh, body you've cut up. <laughs> listen. This is the second time you've almost murdered your cousin. I know this looks bad, but, like, she forgave me just today. <laughs> <laughs> That's a stretch. <laughs> no, in my uh, white hamper here, the purple basket's dirty. The one that, when they come in and immediately ask, did you forgive your cousin? No. <laughs> <laughs> Send her to jail. Laundry is a huge discussion in my house right now. <laughs> there you go. I didn't do anything wrong. it all top. It's fine. It was a big creature that came out of the woods. Hold on. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not closing that door. <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> Fucking hell. Everyone who comes in has to tell me about the laundry. Sorry, what did you say after she came in? I said, uh, I didn't do anything, Mom. A big creature came out of the woods. I'm just, I'm just telling the truth now. I don't, I'm not trying to lie. <laughs> A big creature came out of the woods and just happened to only attack your cousin? Yeah. 
I didn't ask you anything, Mr. Foxglove. <laughs> Oh, by the way, Mom, this is the guy I like. <laughs> oh, she knows. <laughs> he helped me kill my cousin. <laughs> is half human, and the human half is not from her mother. <laughs> oh, no, my psychic mother. <laughs> Your psychic vampire mother. She should know I'm telling the truth. She does know you're telling the truth. She's just very upset with you. <laughs> Listen, um, like a giant thing, and it had a deer head and like antlers, and it was wearing a nightgown, and oh, sounds so dumb. Not <laughs> crab, also hoofs, and it stomped. <laughs> and then it dropped her. I told it to. I told it to go away. I did that thing you showed me, right? And it what did. What are you doing out of class, Aurelia? Well, Aleandra came and told us there was a nightgown outside, so we went to look. <laughs> Why wasn't Alandra in class? Because she was telling us about the nightgown we had to go look like. Look. Alandra's <laughs> never in class. <laughs> Ariel, or death. Alandra's dad is very, very cross right now, and he's giving you the sternest dad look. <laughs> Hi, I'm <Alandra. laughs> And then he's going to turn that stern dad look on Cannon. <coughs> point at you and go, I remember you. Ooh. Do I remember him? You don't remember him, because you met him at the door when you picked up Alejandra for your little book hike. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, they think you're like her boyfriend. They do think you're like her boyfriend, and they also know that she started acting weird up started hanging out with you, and now she's in the hospital and you're here again. <laughs> <laughs> the facts check out. <laughs> the facts check out. <laughs> I can't say I wouldn't deserve it, considering what I've done. <laughs> True. Yeah. <laughs> True. He looks like he's ready to strangle you. <laughs> and Arlie's mom looks about ready to hold the officer down and let him. <laughs> okay. Mom, it wasn't oh, him. The dog too. Why are all the doors open? <laughs> Ella, get out! I don't think she knows that word. <laughs> it's a very complicated phrase. <laughs> I'm not confused. Often right. My mood often right. Often. often right. I close the doors so that I'm not bothering it. My yelling. And they open all the doors again. <laughs> close them and lock them. I can't lock them. This one doesn't even have a bottom hinge. It sounds familiar. <laughs> I'm a disagree All right. God, every time and they're like, "Oh, I am you, so loud." And tip from mm. <laughs> Yeah, no, there are two very, very angry parents staring you down right now, Cannon. He didn't do anything, Mom. Really? Because the knives that the police officers found. Uh, beg to differ. Did the knives have blood on them? No, I don't think so. Aurelia, one more word out of you and I will have your tongue. <laughs> Stop it me again, young lady. See how far you last. He's got a point. I'm right. just gonna, like, send my energy towards her and be really mad. <laughs> she sends it right back. <laughs> <laughs> Much like they were having a normal conversation. <laughs> the mental equivalent of smacking the back of your hand with a spoon. <laughs> Sir, me, 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 a smack. <laughs> I think I do everything. I'm Mrs. Lemru. <laughs> Mrs. Lemru. <Lemmer. laughs> <laughs> Mr. Foxglove. I realize you're both mad. I didn't have anything to do with it this time. You seem very involved in my niece's life, and I don't like that very much. You smell terrible. I've heard that before recently. <laughs> you smell worse than you did. It's unfortunate. No. The Foxglove family has been very, very good to us. You just seem to be a bad thing. 
It's more like a milkshake, really. <laughs> <laughs> Your milkshakes bring oh, all yeah. the boys to the yard. <laughs> I lay it up. You are done talking. I am talking to Mr. Foxglove now. I pray your father is merciful to you, young man. Probably won't be anytime soon, though. <laughs> oh, definitely not. He's going to hurt you quite badly. What? He's going to hurt you? Are you going to get branded? <laughs> Tell me about the nightgown. I just like. There's an officer here, though. Oh, he can't hear anything. He's been comatose for like three minutes. <laughs> Why would you teach me that trick? <laughs> because you don't need to know that trick, young lady. You get in enough trouble with what you can already do. Mm-hmm. That's fair. Uh... Here we are. You've been arrested, Arlea. You can't do this. And my dad is there listening to this? Yes. Okay. He is he is well away. Dad is from the Lambro family. Okay. Alright. He took your mother's name when they married. Okay. I I was sitting in class with Aurelia and I keep forgetting how to pronounce your name. Aleandra. Aleandra. Aleandra came in. Or he needed us to go out and check a a nightgown floating in the trees? Why was the nightgown so important? It's what Why you... Sabrina was last spotted in. Probably. Darling, you don't... You don't mean your friend from the cheerleader before, do you? Yeah, she disappeared, like, what, two months ago? Aurelia. I didn't do it! No, darling, you don't... Listen, the humans are looking into it. Let them do their jobs. You're here to learn. I know I'm here to learn, but I'm also being accused of a crime, like, every day. Everyone's thinking it all the time. It's really annoying. <laughs> they also think Aleandra did it, and him too, and they didn't, and I know. Because I did it. <laughs> you're not giving them much reason to believe otherwise. Look at what happened today. You have to be more careful. I mean, if the cops had shown up like two minutes earlier, they would have seen the giant thing with the deer head. And how far do you think that would have gotten them, hmm? I mean, they'd probably be killed. <laughs> they'd probably have been killed, yes. You have a responsibility, as a preternatural being, to be more careful around the mundane. Well, I mean, like, but if they'd seen it and it hadn't killed them, then we'd be fine. No, they would assume that these two went insane, or were hallucinating, or were drugged by someone, because humans like to come up with any expl- explanation they can, aside from the obvious truth. And that's the best way to keep it, my dear. The more they know, the more they will hunt, and the more they hunt, the less of us there are. Mm. Darling, can you imagine how, how few of your classmates would like you if they could know that you drink their emotions? I mean, they probably wouldn't like it very much, no. No, they probably wouldn't like it very much at all. <laughs> but I know that she could drink emotions. No, no you're <laughs> learning a lot of new things right well, now. Well, <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, he seems to be deep in it now, darling. Look, I never drank your emotions, okay? <laughs> but he would know what they are because he's the expert, right? He just didn't know that she was one. Yeah. Yes, he would know. He would know of emotion vampires, but now he knows that there was one like right next to him the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be like super red and like, look, I never drink your emotions, okay? I didn't. I promise. Like, oh no, he just daydreams about you all day long. Be quiet, mom. You no, don't need to if you're not, if you're going to embarrass me for being arrested for something that you didn't even do, I get to embarrass you in front of your crush. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Serves you right, you little rotten little girl. Oh, your father spoils you. <laughs> <laughs> I will take your phone. That's I'll fine. do it. And your computer. For I don't need it. <laughs> Everything I need is right here in this room. <laughs> <laughs> I will lock you up in the cellar for so long, little girl. <laughs> oh. 
And Mr. Big Wolf Towers. We're feeding people about the giant deer head thing in a nightgown that's running around and probably going to kill more people. <laughs> no, you are not. You are going to leave it to the professionals. You should have called me. Yeah, I should have called you. You should have. Yeah. Naughty girl. And you. You. <laughs> he didn't do anything. He's super ordinary. Can't you feel that? Oh, he's he's mundane, certainly, but he's not ordinary. <laughs> you better watch yourself, young man. Keep poking your nose where it doesn't belong, and soon it's going to end up off your face. How's the book, by the way? Which book? <laughs> you know which book. It hates me. Hmm. Like. Uh, Alejandro? Do you have any inkling of an idea as to why that is? Do I? Oh, you know. You did it on purpose. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I know why it likes her or nothing. <laughs> Let me tell you, there are a lot of us that feel that way, little fox buzz. Your father. I didn't owe your father. You would not exist anymore. That means she'd drink your soul and you'd die. <laughs> <laughs> or end up soulless, that's a thing. <laughs> I would delight in doing so. I wouldn't take you the whole soul. I would leave just enough for you to still feel fear. And then I would hand you over to Alejandra's father and let him take care of the rest. He's just a buff guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Just sitting menacingly in the chair. He's just a menace at this point. <laughs> well, why do you have to intimidate every guy I like? <laughs> because every like I, every guy you like is garbage, my raccoon. Because <laughs> every guy you like tries to kill your cousin. <laughs> <laughs> you have a terrible taste, my dear. I mean, we kind of do. Alright, well. It's is going to be fine. She twisted her ankle. This is a lot of blood. I said a lot. Twisted her ankle. No, like when she fell, she twisted her ankle pretty well. Oh, okay. She'll be alright. Needed a few stitches, a little bit more blood. She's she just fine. That's now, it has taken a considerable amount of my energy, which is why I brought Alejandro's father with me. I have altered things just enough to let them let you go. As far as they remember, you were not arrested, you were taken to safety. These, uh... Oh, darling. <laughs> and she just, like, unhooks them with, like, a little twitch of her hands and <laughs> throws them in the corner. You should teach me that one. No. <laughs> I will not. You will have to learn that one on your own. As far as the officers remember, they brought the three of you in safety after they heard screaming. And they didn't find your knives. Why do both of you have knives? <laughs> you not give them to me and Alejandra. You're at school. You weren't supposed to bring them. Well, <laughs> you meant to bring them in case there were any creepy guys. Like, what? <laughs> and she's going to look at, Ale at Alejandra's dad. <laughs> and he, like, gestures to Canon. And she's like, <laughs> <laughs> we both had a knife and neither of them used it on him. <laughs> We've had perfect opportunities to. Backfire, don't you? Don't you, Todd? Why did you give the girls knives? Give them mace. Uh, well, in any case. So, am I picking myself out of these uh, handcuffs? Yes. 
Do I have, like, my luck picking stuff still? You do not, actually. Don't you but, think it's uh, kind of funny when they come in and he's wearing handcuffs? It is going to be funny. I'm going to delight in it. Uh, what? <laughs> she's got a little bit of a nosebleed going, too, and she's like, as far as they are aware, there is a strange interloper in the woods. There's a person. A and you three were ditching to smoke. That's It's the best I could do. Okay. Dang I've never sorry. smoked. I know. But this is... I'm going... You are going to have to take a few dings to your reputation, young lady. Oh, man. Me? I have no reputation. You could do with a reputation. <laughs> I have a reputation. It's bad. <laughs> But I have cleared it up of criminal ideals. The other students were too far away to clearly see that they had caught you, you insolent little girl. <laughs> so, as far as they know, you were ditching class to spend time with your dear cousin, and you were attacked and by a stranger in the woods. This better be the last I hear of it. Wink, wink. <laughs> sure. Yeah. If I come down here again, the school will burn to the ground and I will move you overseas. Oh, that, that's not... Again. <laughs> <laughs> I've done it. I'll do it again. Oh, no, it's fine, Mom. No, I can't. Like, people need their education. You can control yourself. I did. I will. Do I have anything like, in, like any shim or anything? Just flip a thin piece of it. <laughs> right, see if you can find a paper clip. <laughs> We're in a school. You hope there's one somewhere. <laughs> not only are you in a school, you're in a headmistress's office. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, that's a, you said plus sharp? Yes. That's a 12. Nice. Okay. Yeah, no, you, you're just, all right, slide your hand over, grab a ballpoint pen, disassemble it, use the pen, jig it open. <laughs> just, just nonchalantly, you just completely undo the cuffs and then reassemble the pen and put it back where it was. You are so clever. That is so cool. Wow. <laughs> that actually does sound like something I, I would do. Yeah. Lit. <laughs> your mother stops, stands up, straightens her pantsuit a little bit. And just, Can you teach me that? <laughs> I'm like, no. no. <laughs> you teach my daughter how to take locks and I will break every finger you have. I like my fingers. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then maybe tap your arrangement here. I am going to. I am going to leave. We are going to go check on Alejandra. Your father is going to come in. I've done you this courtesy this once. Of also altering his understanding of the events. As far as he knows, you were ditching class and you were attacked by a strange man in the woods. Try to stick to that story. Hmm? Alright. I will do you no know, courtesy in the future. Just because my little girl likes you. Get one pass. One. And this is it. No. Todd just kind of like menaces at you again and just goes... <laughs> He's a scurry man. <laughs> He's a scurry man. He grew up in a family of emotional vampires. <laughs> Ergo, he has none. <laughs> all of whom were female. He was the dude with seven sisters, and all seven of those sisters eat emotions. <laughs> Stoic man. Stoic man. And he does not like you. Except for hatred. He would, he would snap you over his knee. <laughs> like an olive garden breadstick. <laughs> I don't do that with my olive garden breadsticks. <laughs> I usually put them in the soup. <laughs> crack, like, like a dang old garden, olive garden breadstick, and you just crack it against something like <laughs> get so rock hard. No, nope. <laughs> gotta be a little gentle with those things. <laughs> Dip them in the soup. Um, I, like, I know it's been a little weird, but, like, I was trying to look out for her. I know, my dear. And I am sorry about your friend. 
but maybe don't go chasing nightgowns? Hmm? Don't go chasing nightgowns. <laughs> Especially ones that hang from trees with weird oat oh, men. <laughs> Right. She, she and your uncle take their leave Yo, and, and, and right, she opens the door she she is perfectly exuding just stress and worry and like dabbing at her face with her pocket square and just I'm so glad you were here officers I don't know what I would have done without my dear daughter just, everything's been so stressful <laughs> and the, the detective's like of course ma'am and Kenan your dad comes in and like ruffles your hair annoyingly. <laughs> what up, sport? <laughs> yeah, basically just oh, Cannon. We gotta refresh the first day, court, kiddo. It's all an act. Yeah, get it punished heavily. There it is. There it is. Yet more menace behind his actions. No, he's just, he's a very frustrated, tired dad who happens to be a monster hunter, mm -hmm. who is somehow friends with monsters. Like, it's gotten to that shady, gray area, like, <laughs> where he's like, he's got his contacts in the inn, and the ones causing problems are the problem. But he's, he's going to ruffle your hair a little bit rougher than necessary and lean down and go, don't use a dirty jacket to wrap a fresh wound. <laughs> All ahead on hand. I taught you better than that. You better keep more on hand, young man. Glad you're all right. For the most part, yeah. Yeah, you're all right. What happened to your hand? Uh, got bit by something. There's a cat out back. <laughs> yeah, you've never been real good with cats, have you? Well, no, nothing small. No, not really. <laughs> well, don't cut class anymore. I pay a lot for you to be here. Time to cut class again. Cut. <laughs> 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 as soon as Alejandro gets back. You guys think this is the last time we're cutting <laughs> class? <laughs> I'd cut class if there wasn't a monster outside. <laughs> <laughs> Only recently. <laughs> Sorry. So interesting Bella did all that. Adorable. She is adorable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your your dad is mostly just exasperated that you cut class and he's got like when he blinks there's a little bit of like fairy dust on his eyelashes almost. And he like rubs it away and just like Oh he can fly. And I've got a headache. Hmm. Here in here or something. I haven't had grammar juice in a little while. That's a good idea. <laughs> I've heard it's a miracle fruit. Did his dad look like him? His dad looks exactly Did like him. Did some of his energy? <laughs> 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 he is a... Like, you just get warm, homey feelings from this man. He looks exactly like Cannon, but like if Cannon was actually a person instead of the soulless void that he is. <laughs> <laughs> Except for the weird mastermind. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are really nice. Yeah, he's. What happened to you? Oh, I'm, I'm glad. <laughs> you haven't met his mother. <laughs> you, think I, you think I named my son Cannon? <laughs> <laughs> Suka Foxglove is a hell of a woman. That's short for Bazooka. Bazooka. <laughs> <laughs> Bazooka Fox Club. Is so much fun. That's great. Uh, my husband, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> Henry. Henry. Wait, that's that my dad's name or? Henry. Yes. Your father's name is Henry Fox Club. Your mother's name is Bazooka. <laughs> <laughs> but Dang, on all my paperwork she writes. On paperwork, she writes Suka, but it's it's Bazooka. It's a long-standing tradition. <laughs> Got rid of now she turned to 21 because she thought it was cool, and then she married a monster hunter and had a child, and was like, his name's Cannon. 
<laughs> oh, Kaden Bazooka, that's cute. <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> I was I was busy finishing my notes. <laughs> I, was like, I was I was writing down grandchildren or grandchild named Renee. <laughs> this is Missy. Her name starts with missile launcher. <laughs> this is my son incendiary device. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So after the parents and the confusion of whatever Aurelia's mother did has died down. You guys are sent to the nurse's office to settle for a little bit. They've excused you from the rest of classes due to emotional turmoil. This is Ide, her name short for improvised explosive device. <laughs> <laughs> so Alejandra, at the hospital. Am I am I stable at this point? <laughs> You are stable okay. at this point. You will heal up over time. You can take back three of those points right now. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm like, I was just looking at this the entire time. I'm like, I don't like any of how this looks. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, now I, I feel a lot better. <laughs> so now You've you're got... on the opposite side of dying. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, back to, dying. I'm back to okay. You're healing up. You've got, uh, you've got an idea of like... <laughs> like glucose and saline so they can get your blood sugar back where it's supposed to be because you forgot to have lunch in that whole in- <laughs> that whole day <laughs> what's happening today mm-hmm. like you have cranberry juice and an ibuprofen in your system and then you got the shit out of <laughs> and voices in my head <laughs> voices in your head speaking of oh, no. they have been whispering the entire time you have been unconscious Oh, well, at least they were whispering. That's very nice. Way to be, yes. way to be polite. Yes, into your mind. <laughs> they have been telling you some very unsettling things. You have now heard all seven voices Ooh. of the book. Any... There are the four that are just the general loud... Uh, n- they're noisy, they've got opinions on everything. Yeah, the opinion they're all, ones, that's all I'm They're all distinctive voices. <laughs> then there are the three quieter voices. They feel older somehow. You don't get like a, a set age from any of the voices, but these ones feel older. <laughs> and they've been calling you chapter eight. I don't want to be. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Um... When did I start hearing the other voices? Like, at what point? Which is that? As so- soon as you dropped into unconsciousness. Okay. Okay. And the more they're whispering, the more you realize you hear these ones when you're sleeping. Hey, these are the ones. Right, how are you doing? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> these are the ones that uh, have been fueling your dark side, your uh, craving for power. Okay, I see. All right. Okay. <laughs> cool. There's the one that mutes all the other sounds around you, and it has been talking a lot today. The, and it has been saying. Is he one of the quieter voices? He is one of the quieter voices. Okay. He has been saying, "You didn't get the book, but you can still find the library. Chapter eight is a chapter of power. Mm-hmm. Listen to us." Do as we say, and all the strength shall be yours. Sounds like a good idea. It sounds on the sounds on the level. (laughs) Yeah, no, you two have no idea that Alejandra has been hearing voices and that the book talks to her. You know that the book like away from the other book. Yes, you don't know about that either. What was what was? I guess that, that gets to a plot question. What was Cannon's intention? Like, he wanted he wanted me to bind with the book, but he doesn't know what that... What did he know about the book? I will say, Cannon knew that the book was technically alive. Okay. And that it required a host body. It, he knew that it's, like, a parasitic book. Man, you said her about the parasitic book. <laughs> yeah. You did. 
I'm liking the book is parasitic, and he he probably just like pushing buttons, wanted to know what it would do with a host. All right. But he doesn't know anything about the inhabitants or the even the nature of the book. Just nope. No. Just knew that it was technically alive and parasitic. Okay. Are we sure I'm not the BB? <laughs> you're definitely the big bad. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're the big bad. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Well, the wood well. continues whispering to you about a library. Library. Um. And every time it says the library, you feel just this deep pang of homesickness. Homesickness. For a place you've never been. Okay. Interesting. Okay. It's a unique feeling, because you know you've never been the place that this book is describing to you. But you want to be there so badly, it feels like there's a hollow spot in your chest that can only be filled with this place. And it starts to hurt. It hurts. Okay. And you wake up to the obnoxious buzz of fluorescent lighting in the hospital, and a nurse humming to herself as she fixes up your ankle in a in a nice little ankle brace and sets crutches by your bed. I'd like to look down. Am I like bleeding in my my chest area? Or like, you have some sick, fresh new bandages all along your ribs that you can kind of see. Don't chew on that. <laughs> Like, you're in a hospital gown and you can see the like line of gauze and you can feel it it's like kind of getting itchy against your side where one of them is still bleeding a little bit Ow. you're not in pain though because they've got you on some good shit oh sweet <laughs> <laughs> six six slow morphine drip you are feeling great and this is probably the most sleep you've gotten in a couple weeks. I thought I'd say. Um, uh, nurse, when do I get to go home? Oh, good morning, dear. How you feeling? Are you thirsty? Yeah, do, do you have cranberry juice? <laughs> I, think I, can, I think I can arrange that for you. The doctor will be in here in a little bit, so uh, wipe the sleep out of your eyes. He's going to tell you all about your uh, care regimen for your stitches, okay? Sure, yeah. Okay. Brave, strong girl chasing off a hobo like that. Uh, a what? <laughs> <laughs> a hobo in the woods outside your fancy school. Not a lot of girls I know would chase after him like that. A, a hobo that... Yeah, the one who stabbed you up, honey. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I know you're still you're still <laughs> sleepy. It's gonna be okay. You're safe now, <laughs> and you're gonna be just fine. Yeah. Do I know that it wasn't a hobo? Do I remember? Like, am I, am I like doped up enough to like? <laughs> no, you you totally remember the uh, weird okay, skeleton cool. deer thing that was wearing Sabrina's nightgown? Yeah. Okay. Definitely a hobo. Definitely a hobo. <laughs> Also, important development. Cat. That is Kitty. Cat. Sir, stop chewing on the lap up and say hello to the people. <laughs> no. Oh, oh there he is. He uh. likes to chew on the corner of my laptop. It's a problem. Maxi tries to do that too, and I'm like, why? It's, <laughs> it's metal. <laughs> so, oh, buddy. You're so floppy. Um, she wants snuggles. I all right. If I have a moment, like where I'm waiting for the doctor, I would mm-hmm. like to talk to my voices. And what would you like to say? Specifically, I'm going to be like, "Okay, I know that wasn't a hobo. What was that thing?" And I'm going to attempt to tune in. Okay. Uh, roll plus weird. Oh, yeah. That's a 12, which means I get three holds. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and ask. First of all, where is the thing? Where is the creature? You get an image instead of a voice in your mind. You can see the book in your head, and it flips open, and its pages ruffle in, like... In a very determined set. It's not just pages flying, it is flipping through something. And it looks just like an 
like an ink sketch, and then it starts to move, and you see the the gangly deer creature pacing just in the outskirts of the school grounds. Okay. Like kind of where we left it? Pretty pretty close to there. It's hiding in the tree line, and it seems to be enthralled with the school. Okay. Um, next question, then. What is it planning to do? Right now. I, sp- it, I do have to qualify by saying right now. What is it planning to do right now? Yeah. What's going through its head? <laughs> you get a weird... It's a mix of all of the voices talking at once, but they're saying the same thing. It's it's almost like a choir chant. Oh. And as you tune in, you realize it's saying, gotta find them, gotta find them, gotta fix this. Then, that was my first, my third question. You on the dice. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, how can I attract its attention? You get a whole cast of faces in your head at that question. It's the cheerleading squad. What the heck? <laughs> and um, the, the, the quiet voice says, Gotta find them. Gotta find them. But for what? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I'm out of questions, but I have so much more to ask. <laughs> Okay. As you come back to your senses, the doctor is in the room now, and he's, like, shining a pen light at your eyes. Like, Miss Holston. Uh-huh. Uh. There she is. Good morning. How are you feeling? Sore, but really good. <laughs> good, good. We patched you up. You looked very tired. We, uh, we gave you a sleep aid. You slept through the night. Your mom is downstairs in the cafeteria. Oh. She'll be back up in a minute. Been here all night with you. Uh, So you have a few fresh stitches for the lacerations on your sides. Uh, We're just going to have you clean those twice a day with a saline rinse. (laughs) Make sure that you keep fresh bandages on those. If you start to, they will ooze. It's kind of gross. It's just the white blood cells doing their job. Uh, If you feel... If you feel like they're getting sticky, you can change them more often than twice a day. That's totally fine. Just don't leave them too long, or they will get infected. And will start adhering to your skin. (laughs) Okay. I know that. Before, what are you talking about? (laughs) (laughs) You guys know these things? Because stitches. Never had stitches. Yeah, I had staples in my head, but that was about it. (laughs) I didn't have to do all kinds of changes. (laughs) Oh, yeah, no. The old school, uh, like, the... For like deep cuts, you gotta keep them like covered and clean. Mm. Uh, Pretty tight shirts might hurt for a little bit, so uh, maybe get something a little baggier. Well, that's not gonna be a problem. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Other than that, maybe um, you can talk to the pharmacist about getting you some melatonin supplements. You don't seem to be sleeping very well. Did I sleep relatively well? I mean, like, I heard this these seven voices, and I'm obviously creeped out, but, like, did I sleep okay? You slept better than you have in so fucking long. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you know, maybe. Maybe that's not a bad option. Alright, I'll send down a note for that. Uh, you also did bring... Oh. Uh, just have you using using the crutches just to help support don't put weight on it just not your full weight and I don't recommend running or cheerleading <laughs> yeah me neither also we found your knife in your jacket <laughs> <laughs> we also found this hunting rifle <laughs> well, we, we, we were a little concerned about where you were keeping the hunting rifle <laughs> I, I don't understand it was strapped to your back did the school just let you walk around with this thing <laughs> A bit concerned. We did have to confiscate that. You can have it back as soon as you leave. <laughs> it's an open carry school. <laughs> <laughs> it's in Texas. We're fine. <laughs> a rifle club. And we're like in transit. Okay. Yeah. 
<laughs> All right. Thanks, Doc. Yeah. You get you get some rest. We'll be discharging you later today. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. <laughs> Your your mom comes up, and chats with the doctor for a minute, and waits until he leaves, and then she smacks your arm and goes, "What the hell were you thinking?" Ow, mom. <laughs> Ow. It, I, I don't know. It was. It was <laughs> with you know with Sabrina and everything. I just wanted to figure out what was going on, and so we just kind of took a took a step outside. Okay. You can't keep ditching classes like this. This school is expensive and prestigious, and I sent you here because you were supposed to be getting an education. I don't know if you've heard, but Mr. Tucker's not the best at teaching geometry, so maybe we should talk about that, but... Oh my god. If I hear one more word about Mr. Tucker, I'm gonna fire him myself. <laughs> I know. I will be talking to the headmistress about that, but you have to... You have to make an effort, Alejandra. I know things have been hard. And I know that that whole mess with your cousin and that boy... It's been a lot. And like I said, like I said at the beginning of the term, if you want to come home, all you have to do is say so and we can take a break. But you said you wanted to go back to class, and that means you have to go back to class. Yeah. And I just kind of stare out the window. Good. Good talk. Great, <laughs> great chat. Why are you Glad so good disappointed parents? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, excuse me. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I feel like I'm personally being scolded. I know. <laughs> like, I'm going to go to class. <laughs> Do you want to go to class? Yeah, I want to go to class. <laughs> Are you going to go to class? No. <laughs> <laughs> My mom yelled at me. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I can't come. They get you discharged. The nurse kind of shows you how to adjust the height of the crutches until it's somewhere comfortable for you. And oh, that sucks. I hate this. <laughs> I don't want to be on crutches. And they give you, like, a little care package to take care of your stitches. <sighs> you probably have to ask your cousin for help. Yeah, they, they do recommend that you have somebody help you with the one that, like, wraps around your back a little bit where the thumb was, like, digging into the back of your lung. Oh. <laughs> okay. And they send you back to school. <laughs> <laughs> Am I the cool kid now that I have crutches? <laughs> <laughs> we'll say Raul is fascinated. Okay. <laughs> I will bring Marie. He's... He is smitten with you. You I... are the cool... <laughs> In his head, you are the Bella Swan to his Edward, and he is trying oh, no. to Oh, no. Oh, no. You are the quiet, strange girl at the school, and he's the vampire. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Raul is feels for you. Oh. Stay away from the flower fields, Aleandra. <laughs> he's offering to carry your books for you, and walking you to class. Oh, no. No matter how much you ignore him, Oh, <laughs> uh, um, do, uh, when, at what point do I run into these two, if I run into these two? I'd assume it would probably be, like, the next day of classes after the whole mess, and the gossip mill is in full tilt now. What have we heard? Uh, you have heard that there was a psychopath in a nightgown in the woods who tried to kill you guys while you were smoking and ditching class, and you ever so valiantly saved Arlie's life. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Sweet. You've also been hearing a lot more of the quiet voices from the book, and they are just... They will not shut up about the library. Hmm. But you get the feeling that it's not... It's not the library, no. Right. Do, do I, I don't get any images or anything of the library. It's just... Nope. You have no images of this library. Just the gnawing sense that you're supposed to be there. Okay. Well, 
I, I mean, I'll, I'll talk to them when I run into them. I don't know if they're doing anything in between, but as soon as I run into them, I'll let them know. Alright, what would you two like to do? Also, do I heal another? Because it's been a day? Yeah. Okay. You, heal, you heal back up to full. Yes. Do all of us heal back up to full, or...? Yes, you've all had a chance to uh, recover now. Yes. <laughs> I am just trying to make sure I have everything I need on me. Like, all right, let's keep more bandages on me. <laughs> Got like um, a fanny pack now. When they put us into the nursing office okay. after we were freed from arrest, uh, <laughs> can I just be like... I kept the handcuffs. You kept them? <laughs> nice. Can I just, like, so, um, canon, like, I know my mom said a lot of things, but, uh, she's a liar. But actually, I don't, <laughs> I don't actually like you, Baka. <laughs> she's a liar? There's no way I would ever, like, you know, <laughs> so. Unless, I mean, unless. <laughs> I mean, like, unless, like, yeah, yeah. like, don't let it weird you out. I, she's just really, you know, yeah. Also, the thing she said about me being a psychic vampire is also true, but also I never, I'd never hurt you. Do I believe that? Uh-huh. Uh, do you? More to the point, Arlia, are you trying to deceive him? <laughs> I'm trying to convince him that I'm totally normal even though I'm weird. <laughs> well, let's <that's> try. <laughs> Okay, let's see, where's my other? <laughs> Ten. Ten. Um, is... Jesus. Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're cool. <laughs> she's, she's on the level. She is the coolest person you know right now. Like, <laughs> everyone, else, everyone else is potentially a problem. She's cool. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's like, oh my god. She was so close. <laughs> God, that's so interesting. What? I don't know what you said. Like, oh my God, you're magical. You're weird. That's awesome. Yeah, like you probably know a lot about them, but we're not that scary. Like the books make us out to be way scarier than we are. Flashbacks of know. killing your cousin. Pretty scary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lying a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and what would you like to do? Uh, we should probably find Eliandra when she comes back. Eliandra, yeah. Like, do we have our phones? Can we text Eliandra? Do we have phones? Yes, you have phones. <laughs> okay. okay, that's been clarified. We were talking about that earlier. <laughs> Like, we have cell phones. This is this 1995? <laughs> no, you have you have cell phones. Okay. I will just be blowing up your phone the entire night that you're unconscious. <laughs> all of this happened, and they, my mom lied a whole bunch to all these people. Also, she told Canon that I like him. I told him it wasn't true though, and I think he believes me. Also, I don't know. <laughs> I think he believes me. <laughs> um. Uh, I'll find them when I can. I mean, if they text me or something, like I'll, I'll end up st like texting like meet out front or something. All right. You know, but that takes like a twenty minutes to text because I'm trying to balance on my you know crutches and I'm not letting Raul do a damn thing for me. So like. <laughs> he is still trying, by the way. <laughs> it's, like, it's like buzz off, kid. Do you want right. to get an experience from her manipulating me? Ooh. Huh? That's a good question. No. Do uh, more than ten. I wasn't I'm gonna... even manipulating you. No, she was just bald face lying to you. Okay. I wasn't using magic. I was using my personality. <laughs> For another hunter, yeah. All right. Okay. So. Yeah, Raul is like. Can I take something for you? No, you can leave me alone. <laughs> Don't you have a class to go to? Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. <laughs> you're more important than my classes. Look, Besides, kid. just geometry. I really need you to go to class. I'm going to try and manipulate him. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and roll for it. Um, let me 
we pop on over. I believe I have a plus one. Uh, that's a seven. Seven is a mixed success. He's going to think about it for a minute, realize that he's annoying you. <laughs> ah, yes, yes, of course, of course, you'd need, you'd need ketchup notes. I can, uh, I will take notes for you. Sure. And he's going to... Exactly, yeah. He's going to go to class. Great. Is he annoying you? You feel really annoyed right now. Oh, hey, you're here. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to go find you guys, but... <laughs> Uh, yeah. Hey, what's up? Hey, um, big news. Uh, that thing wants the cheer squad for some reason. The thing that killed, tried to kill you? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. We probably shouldn't let it kill the cheer squad. That's not a good idea. I don't know if it's trying to kill them exactly. It said make it right. But I don't know. And... Hey, did you notice that that was, um, uh, did you notice that that was Sabrina's nightgown? Like, her nightgown specifically? Yeah. Are we all thinking that it, it was Sabrina? That's where I'm um, going. Or whatever ate her. Yeah, but why would it put on her clothes after it eats her? <laughs> Maybe it's pervert, I don't what is, know. This is like the big bad wolf from, like... <laughs> Oh, Sabrina, what big teeth you have? What big antlers you have? <laughs> <laughs> I've read about these demons. <laughs> yeah, Kenan, have you ever read about any, like, demon nightgown wearing per deer headed demons? <laughs> Should I roll a sharp? <laughs> <laughs> What's the depth of his perv knowledge? <laughs> <laughs> Mental knowledge. Ugh. I've got a six plus. Uh, what am I rolling? <laughs> Probably sharp. If it's sharp, yeah. All right, so that's an eight. I mean, you've heard about like, as far as pervert demons go, like if there's incubi, succubi. But like, does this match the description of any of those things? No, it's the. Uh, I mean. No. Not you're not you're not real sure what the fuck's going on with this one. Alright. Well I do I mean, know unless one of you are into skull, eh? Or ear, ear skull? creature? Ear skull mm -hmm. creatures. But, n n did you I just mean, ask I me if I was I I think we're a little bit off track here, guys. <laughs> Can I carry What'd you say? What's up? Can I carry your backpack? Oh. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Okay. I will carry her backpack. Don't go through it or anything. Alright. So, are you going back to the front of the school to look for the uh, book? I'm going to lead them towards the book, yeah. Alright. Okay. I need you to roll plus sharp real quick. Is this looking for a situation? Uh... Or is it just general? Or? Um, no, actually, I'm going to have you hold off on the roll. Okay. For now. Um, you get to the front of the school where you had your little encounter. The book is not where you left it. Yeah, I knew this was going to happen. We should have gone for it immediately. Dang it. <laughs> yeah, the book is gone. All right, we gotta go find Cynthia. <laughs> Why Cynthia? Oh yeah, I found this book on her. Um, it, it like, I I didn't tell you guys this because we got really distracted. But I went to touch it and it like threw me across the room and then this thing tried to kill me, which you know I might have been able to take a couple more hits if that thing had you know <laughs> this book hadn't messed me up anyway. Um, so it said something about there you know only room for one, and. That journal, you know, I'm thinking about the journal, and 
with Sabrina's disappearance, there could be some connection there, you know? If books have the power to do things, which some do, I assume, what? right, Kenan? Yeah. <laughs> I mean... I'm gonna the give him the book I... we have is doing something to you. I'm gonna give him the stink eye at that phrase, just like... Wait, you you know the book is doing something to me? Yeah, he knows the book is doing something to you. Yeah, it likes you. Okay. Um, I would say it like you yeah, can do it on Yeah, yeah, you're, you're right, you're right. I mean... Hey, I'm gonna march up to him and put my hands on my hips and just be like, lean in real close as I can get to his tallness. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that like you didn't do it on purpose. Did you even tell her you did it on purpose? Uh, what on purpose? You did, what, you did something on purpose? Yeah, he gave you the book on purpose. He knew it would happen. He was thinking about it all the time after you guys came back from your little escapade. I knew something would happen. Yeah, you knew something would happen, and you did it to her, not you. You let something happen to me? Oh, the betrayal. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> a little bit. Cannon, what did you think that was? A living being of sorts? Seven living beings, to be exact. <laughs> and I don't know. What, what can I do? What can I do? I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm gonna cast magic on him. I am. I am. Yeah. No. <laughs> um. Yeah, but I'm not gonna make it like her. I'm going to attempt to use a spell, but it's oh. going to. Yeah, I'm gonna attempt to use a spell, and I'm just gonna try and like channel all the voices in my head towards him. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah, that's an eleven. <laughs> <laughs> and so he just gets and overwhelmed see, in my mind. You see, El you see, Eleandra like she she freezes on her crutches and looks horrified at you. And it crosses your mind for a second that maybe you should have like discussed the parameters of this experiment, and then this wall of sound hits you like a truck. It makes you physically stumble as these voices are just hissing hateful words into your head. Uh, oh, that's not pleasant. Yeah, it's not. There, <laughs> there is, there is one that's just barking at you. <laughs> it's a I haven't heard about this sort of thing. <laughs> and one of the quiet voices, the one that blocks out all of the sound. You watch as Cannon's face goes slack, and his eyes loop focus. And Cannon, in your head, you hear, "You can make it up to her. Take her to the library." And you get this like, it feels like there's a string attached to your chest, just tugging in a direction, and it goes out a little bit, and then it goes down, straight towards the ground. And just the hissed word library goes in your head for a minute. And you blink, and both the girls are staring at you. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> library? Yeah, that one's new. Do you have something um. or... What was that? <laughs> do you have something to do? I heard, I heard something to do, and I was like, yeah, it's solve a mystery. <laughs> She's just asking, like... Do you need to return a book or something? <laughs> oh, crap, I feel fine. <laughs> uh, I don't know where this library is, but... I feel like it might be under the school, maybe? I 
don't know. That's where it felt like I was. There was something trying to pull me towards it. I haven't felt it pulling me towards anywhere. Hey, what? I'm talking to a voice in my head. What was that about? <laughs> he knows. <laughs> what are you what is this? What the fuck? <laughs> Only of the voice wants go keys. 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 And you get a delightfully gory image in your head of a severed hand. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Are there rings on the hand? What does the hand look like? Does it look like Cannon's hand? <laughs> it looks exactly like. And ironically, it looks like the one that the book was biting. Bandages and all. Oh, interesting. <laughs> oh, interesting. <laughs> oh, damn. Who's the hand? friend. Huh. <laughs> and then the quiet voice just under everything. Your vision goes a little bit dim at the edges, and the voice goes, Give to get. Give to get. Um, we should figure out this Sabrina thing. <laughs> I mean, if you want me to go talk to, um, what's her name again? The little one, the one that's always talking about Oh, yeah, her. Cynthia Jaspers. Yeah, uh, Cynthia, she, uh, she's pretty easy to uh, manipulate, if you know what I mean. Yeah, maybe we should. <laughs> the, the thing wanted, the thing wanted the cheer squad, that's the way we're going to be able to draw its attention, so maybe that's what we do. We want to draw its attention. It did almost kill you. But may it, it wants to make <laughs> I something. I think it's drawn everyone's attention. <laughs> it said it wanted to make something right. It wanted. It was planning to make something right. Well, let's see what's wrong that it's trying to make right. I mean, it. it it's a giant demon thing, so that's pr mm -hmm. that's probably a good start. That's true. You're right. Hopefully, it's trying to you know say sorry to me by killing the sheer squad or something. I don't know, but but. <laughs> <laughs> that could be something it makes right because you know that really hurt but what? I, I didn't actually mean that is what I'm you know but <laughs> hurt <laughs> <laughs> I, was her face by the way was Aurelia's face in that when it flashed the cheer squad's face or? it was yes as was yours oh okay okay yeah I think it wants us and I'm not sure what for yeah. but the image was a like it was a memory that you have, but from a different point of view oh. of the uh, last season's uh, cheer competition of the whole squad in their finishing pyramid. I think that thing was Sabrina. Yes, why? It wanted the cheer squad. It was wearing her dress. So she turned into a demon deer giant in the night. And then she ran away because she was embarrassed. E Without opening her window. I mean, it could have been taken, and then, I don't know, I don't know, it, there's nothing saying that it had to run away. It could have been abducted and then ran, you know, turned into, but anyway, yes, yes, I, I think we're on to something. <laughs> so, the question is... To Cynthia? Do we just Maybe. bring the squad? To do what? I don't know. I don't know what this thing wants, but I mean, it it's a... I mean, it picked you up and tried to stab you through the chest. I will say, you guys do have a move called Investigate a Mystery, where you can roll to ask God questions. Oh, is that a thing? Oh. Is it like rolling an insight? It kind of. Like I can, I can give you more than just the environmental clues of where you got happened to stumble, and I forgot to mention it, and it might make this go a little bit smoother. Sorry. Okay. What okay. Is that? Uh, Should I investigate a mystery? Is it sharp? Yeah. Let's let's have let's have the smart guy do it. I think I'm sure that we can all, but yeah, you do. The it. smart guy has to pick the most important question. All right. Uh, because of my haven, the lore library, would I get a plus one to this or a forward to it? Should we go read this one, Haven? You would get a forward to it. That automatically gives you one question. Oh, okay. It's your lore library. <laughs> Do you only get the one question? No. I get seven. No. I, uh... I rolled a... I rolled a 12 plus two. Nice. Oh, good lord. Okay. <laughs> so you get four questions. 
Think well, big man. <laughs> well, what is it going to do? The creature? Oh. Yeah, what was it going to do? You think back to the encounter, and you... It's weird in your head, because it didn't seem to have been attacking. It didn't step far out of the tree line. It grabbed Alejandra. It didn't slash, it didn't bite, it didn't smack. It grabbed her. And it seemed to have been trying to talk. That horrible screeching noise happening every time it opened its mouth. Hmm. Oh, okay. I think it was trying to communicate. Alright. Because I'm looking at the list and we kind of already know a lot of this. You have theories about a lot of it. Mm, it's true. We should probably figure out what it is. Yeah, like, is it her or... What sort of creature is it? It is a classification of demon. It's one that you remember seeing something about in one of your dad's old books. It is a demon specifically of want. Hmm. It is a cursed form. It is not a demon that just originates. It is a person who is cursed with that form for its greed. Hmm. So, bring up. Okay. What's. What's being concealed? Like, is the library underneath, or underneath the school, or...? That is a different part of the mystery. What is being concealed is what the book is. Mm. Not the book that you have, but the one that Alejandra brought you here to find. All right. Can I ask, where did the book go? Oh. Huh? Yes, you can. You... You don't know Cynthia Jespers very well. But you do know that there are a few places in the school that every freshman likes to hang out when they think they're being sneaky. Mm. You used to hang out in them too. You, you were all freshmen once. And you know that the boiler room under the theater is the favored cool kid hangout of freshmen. If Cynthia had right. something that she didn't want someone to find, that's where she'd be. Alright. Alright, uh... Let's go to the boiler room, then. Sure. <laughs> Do you say any of this out loud? I don't know, you're almost just like... <laughs> like the math meme, and then to the boiler room. <laughs> that's probably Sabrina. Let's go to the boiler room. The fuck does that have <laughs> Point of order, are you getting the whole cheer squad or are you just grabbing Cynthia right now? Well, we haven't even made that decision. Are we grabbing the cheer squad? I think maybe we should wait until we have the book. You want to get the book? Also, uh, the Sabrina Deer Demon, or Deer Sabrina, was probably trying to talk to you. Oh. Well, I may feel bad for making her bite her tongue. You made her you bite prevented her, her from talking to you. I got that. I feel bad for making her bite her Whoops. Well. I, 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 I'm, maybe we should go find... Let's find Cynthia. And then we can go from there. Alright. Alright, let's go. Yes. Is that still the boiler room that you want to look in, or do we want to look elsewhere for her? I think the boiler room is probably where she is. Okay. And that's what we shall do. Alright. Probably make your way on crutches to the boiler room. Aw, oh, man, are there, are there stairs? <laughs> yes. Probably. Hey, Cannon, just pick her up and carry her down. Don't. 
I'm going to use my control on cannon. <laughs> on cannon? Yeah, I can try to do it on you guys. <laughs> That's a ten. Um. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I would. I would like yeah. to. I would like to use magic. <laughs> if he goes for me. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll be trying to pick you up. <laughs> uh. You do. You can choose whether to do it or not. I'll do it. Then you have to mark an experience. Nope. Oh. Um, so I get an experience. Yeah. You yeah, get an experience. Get an experience. Congratulations! You're better okay. off. I'm just like, hey, Cannon, pick her up. Okay. Nope. Um, <laughs> I am going to, um, he doesn't count as a bystander. Okay, I'm, I, I'm, I was going to see if I could do something bigger, but I can't. So I'm going to, <laughs> this is a bad tension group. I'm going to use magic to make him. <laughs> this is gonna suck, but I'm angry at him, so this will work. I'm going to use magic to make him trip. Not carrying you. And he, I'm, I'm doing it before you go for me. Okay. Like as I start going for you. Correct, because she said, "Hey, why don't you pick him up?" And I'm gonna be like, "No," and then I'm gonna start doing my thing. Um, and I pull my little amulet with my weird, crooky, like crutchy hand, like. <laughs> and so roll plus weird. Um, that is a se five, seven. So I think DM gets to determine one effect, right? Yes, Keeper. I get glitch. Yeah. Let's see. Problematic side effect, and I lose my hand. <laughs> Perfect. I need that. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me see. It's... Hmm. So you're just trying to trip him? Yeah. It works a little too well. You you trip him. There's a. Uh, there's a little burst of energy just under your foot before you can step down, Cannon, and it knocks you backwards into the fountain, and you smack your head on the side. And you I take one harm. You take one harm. Well, one. that works. I, I mean, then. Would do that, Alejandro. Seeing seeing that he got what he deserved, I'm not going to hex him like I was going to. <laughs> you can do it. I deserve it. <laughs> I was trying to help you. I don't need the help. And I will try and walk down the stairs for all my crutches. <laughs> Alright. The boiler room is accessed through the uh, band pit in the auditorium. There's like a there's a door at the bottom of the stage that opens up into this weird little like sunken tunnel. And Canon, as this door opens, you feel that tug in your chest again, and this time it is pointing straight forward. Mm. Towards what appears to be a solid brick wall. Reach out and touch it. It is a brick wall. Okay. I, do I know that I would lose a hand for that, the key? You no, have no idea. I do, so as I see that happen, like how, does, how do the voices in my head react? Voices don't react. Interesting. Can I sense anyone near us? Oh, roll plus weird. Okay. Eight plus... Eleven. You sense something nearby. And it is coming from the boiler room. But it's not something you've tasted before. There's a weird taste in there, guys. Taste. Kind, kind of like meringue pie and cayenne pepper. That sounds disgusting. I don't know why you would. <laughs> I, 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 
<laughs> Where is it? That way. Is it past the brick wall? No, so the uh, brick wall isn't like blocking your passage. It's just Tannen feels the tug in his chest aiming straight for what is a blank wall to all intents and purposes. There's a longer hallway, like this is it's just like a little off. storage stuff yeah. and like where they keep a lot of the um, heavier band instruments and things because people don't want to haul them around like the the kettle drums and yeah, yeah. things like that. They These are in the band pit and there's like three more steps at the end of this hallway that lead down to the boiler room. Okay. Mm. All right. So as far as, and because like the voices didn't say anything, as far as I know, Cannon just tried to touch a brick wall for no reason. Yeah, Cannon just like, Huh. <laughs> to a wall. But he's been weird all day. You might have been <laughs> touching, and you don't know. <laughs> okay, that works for me. I'm going to try and stumble forward. <laughs> all right. Still no hex. <laughs> I would going to use, like, syphilis or something with the disease. <laughs> <laughs> As we get closer to the boiler room, Ariella, you do get, like, waves of teenager energy. Are there couples making out down here? There's a couple freshmen hanging out in the boiler room, you can tell. You're not sure if one of them is Cynthia or not. You you haven't spent a lot of time around her, so you don't really know her flavor that well. Yeah. I mean, I can't tell if it's her or not. A lot of people have that weird peppermint, you know, neediness. (laughs) Yeah. What? So, I, I need to clarify something, DM, or Keeper. What... What does a minion... How, what's that defined as? A minion? Yeah. Because if I attempt to tune in, I can tune into a monster or a minion. Okay. Minions are uh, the little monsters that the big bad gets. Like, okay. Um, they gather things or hold off the hunter's... They're kind of like a side effect of the big bad existing. Okay, so they're they're not they're not even like NPCs that work for it necessarily. It's just like specific monster side effects. Yes. Okay. So like right. minions would be, or like if there's someone who really wants monster to happen, like if someone was summoning something, that would be a minion. Okay. But you, I mean, if you want to try it, you can. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I don't know if I like that, because I can't, if I roll anything below a 10, then that thing that happens could be worse, <laughs> but... <laughs> there, are, there are minions, you guys just... Haven't run into them. Haven't run into it that you know of, you haven't, like, found any, you're just kind of... Any of the 12 minions I put on this map. <laughs> okay, you're just fucking with each other at this point. <laughs> Too much tension, we can't help it. It's very good, and I enjoy it very much, because I don't have to remember a bunch of NPC names. <laughs> Can um, I open the boiler room door? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll open the room door. You open the boiler room door, and there's a there's a boy. You're pretty sure his name is Seth, but you're not. You don't care enough to act out, and he's like playing on a Game Boy by the boiler, and he looks at him and goes, "Oh, uh, the um, uh, it's um, uh, I have a free period right now." No, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys aren't. You're not. You're not a freshman. Do you have no. to be a freshman to come here? No, it's, that's usually just who I see. Like, Lessons. hi, hi, hi. Uh, we were freshman yeah. once. You Listen, know that? I'm gonna tell you a secret. I was a cool freshman. I didn't hang out down here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you a secret. Yeah. Next year, you probably don't want to come here too often, especially on Thursdays, because things get a little. Oh my god. Freaky how? Like... The Archies. <laughs> what? Helen, <laughs> <laughs> he's too young. <laughs> no, not a 14 and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, then. Okay. If you want to know what goes down, you've got to go to the boys' restroom on the third floor. And it's written on the mirror in the third stall. Okay. And he gets up and he is going to go figure out what's going on. There's nothing written on the mirror, is there? I'm fucking with him. I love it. He, he 
is eating out of your hand. He completely buys it. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you next year. Yeah. If you survive. And he's gone. <laughs> Anyone else in here? Nope, he was the only one that you see. You do see a bag, though. And you do recognize it as Cynthia's bag. That's weird. Where's she? I don't sense her energy at all. You sense a little bit left on her stuff. She left her bag here. Oh, uh, Seth killed her. Coming from the ceiling. Is there a body in there? Throw a body in the boiler. Oh, God. <laughs> it smells bad. <laughs> it smells like that. That's, that's the smell you smell. <laughs> oh, no. I Is smelly smell. Don't put anything past you. <laughs> look for the book in the bag. Can I look around and see if there's anything we're missing? To read a bad situation. Yeah, go for it. Okay, well then, while he's doing that, I will inspect the bag, even though I'm on crutches. So <laughs> thanks, guys. <laughs> I'll see what I, what I can do to read this to get in this bag. You all. I should be the one doing that. <laughs> you should, but you're not, because you're an ass. <laughs> Did you see the tree threw you across the room? Yeah, that's 11. Okay. That's good. You get, uh, you get a hold one. Nope. 11 is... Hold three? Hold three. Okay, so, ask your questions. Uh... Is there any dangers we haven't noticed? In this room? Yes. Oh, golly. Great. Too What's late. the biggest threat here? As you're looking around, you... Something's not sitting right with you. Teenage girls don't just leave their bags places. Especially teenage girls with stuff to hide. That shit does not leave your side. Mm. I should know, having been a teenage girl with stuff to hide. <laughs> <laughs> And what's the best You're, way to protect the oh, two girls? Oh, we, we, um, we still have the... Hang on. Hang on. You're... You are looking around the boiler room. You remember this place well. You actually <coughs> considered this place for your first sanctuary. But there was too much foot traffic. And as you're scanning the room, you see something out of place. You see a shadow that doesn't fit with the lighting. And it's shaped like a person. But it doesn't she hung have, herself. It doesn't have somewhere to be cast from. The best way to protect the two girls in this room is to get out of this room. Okay. And as you focus, as you're squinting at this shadow, trying to make sense of the shape, it steps towards you. I just want to get out of here! <laughs> I'm on crutches! <laughs> I, I will pick up the bag. I guess I'll try to pick up. <laughs> Alright. Act under pressure. You do it now, Leandra? Um. Oh, that's good. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight. I'm going to try and tune into that thing in front of me. I don't know what it is. So I'm going to see it just if I can, like, reach out and grab it with my mind. <laughs> that's okay. You roll plus weird while these two are acting out of pressure. Okay. I got an eight. I got a ten. Okay. Uh. What happens on an eight? Why do I always lose the. The keeper is going to give you a worse outcome, hard choice, or a price to pay. Oh, no. Okay. Your hand. I'm just kidding. My hand! <laughs> sure. Right. We've been hinting right. at it the entire session. <laughs> Alright. You. You reach for Alejandra, and as you're reaching for Alejandra, the shadow is going for Arlea. Man. So, you have to choose who to pull out of the shadow's way. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you can choose Alejandra. This is like the Walking Dead game. Yeah. <laughs> you terrible. have to make a choice. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, the one that's immediate danger, or the one that can actually move very quickly. 
because Aurelia has the bag that you need. Oh, right. How big a dick are you going to be? <laughs> That's the question. We do need the book. <coughs> Wanna be keeping it big dick Yeah. <laughs> This is a this is a lose lose situation. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> this is so I'm good. Nope. That's so much you way I like this system. I love <laughs> this. <laughs> oh, book, Hubble person, book, Hubble person. I guess I'll keep going. I'll go after Aurelia. <gasps> Alejandro will remember that. <laughs> <laughs> you can see him reaching for you, and for a second you think, like the, you, you guys, you guys are kind of friends for the first half of the year. You got close enough that you decided to do a B and E, and for a minute you think you have your friend back. And then he makes a hard right and grabs Aurelia, and books it out the door as the shadow lunges forward. But it gives you an opportunity. As it is grabbing for your throat, you connect. Um, I want to... latches on, and you suddenly know, without a, without a shred of a doubt, this is Cynthia. Ooh. Was it? Does it look like? Does it look like a girl? Like, I mean, now that she's up close to my face, does it still look like her? Or? It is. What you would imagine a her shadow would look like if it got up. Gotcha. So it's just like a soup. It's just a silhouette. It is a silhouette of her. Cool. And as it grabs for you, you feel like a numbing sensation on your neck. Like like if somehow your neck had fallen asleep. Oh. Ow. Um. And her hands pass right through you. I know what I should have done. Does it... <laughs> So to, to sorry. So now to to my holds. Yes. Who does it regard as the biggest threat? It regards Cannon as the biggest threat right now. The guy who left. The guy who <laughs> left. How can I attract its attention? You got attention. Okay. So, but but it feels as though it's only going to worry about the thing right in front of it. Yes. It is, it is worried about you, and as it reaches for you again, it's not attacking. It's like she's trying to pull you away. What is it planning to do? That's my third question. It's trying to protect you from cannon. <laughs> Can I kick cannon between the legs as he's carrying me? <laughs> <laughs> Um... Yeah, you can. <laughs> I will allow that. Alright. When he drops me, I'm gonna run back to Alejandro. I'm going to... lift up my charm and cast magic. I'm going to attempt to communicate with it. Okay, roll plus weird. Oh yeah, that's a... that's in 11. Okay. The voices in your head, you, you're you starting to get almost visual representations of these voices now. And they part. And you see Cynthia in your head as she was just a few days ago before you were attacked by what do you think was Sabrina in the woods. And she looks terrified. Oh, I too, like... Cynthia... What? How are you doing this? Why can I see you inside your head? What, are, what is happening? Who are these? What are you doing? What, what are you doing with that freak? Uh, what happened to me? I don't know. What happened to you? And like the silhouette is panicking and like waving its hands and... I just... I... I I took... I took... I took Sabrina's sketchbook because I wanted to see if she'd drawn anything in it yet. And, and 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 I opened it, and it said it says foxglove on the inside cover, and then it started talking to me. Foxglove. 
Oh, 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 oh. Sure. It started talking to me, and it, I, it said it could give me things, and so I asked for a thing. I, I, you're, but you're, you're, like, a thing. I. I know, I know, I know. It started as soon as I started asking him for things. My feet turned into this, and now it holds me into this, and I can't talk anymore, and I can't touch anything. Yeah. Um. Can I stand up? <laughs> Is that cool? <laughs> I, or am I still standing? <laughs> You're still standing. Okay. She was like, like me. She was reaching for you to try and get you awake. And Great. Um. Maybe we should powwow really quickly and <laughs> try and figure this out together. Are Leah <laughs> picking up on any of this? Are Leah is getting same like waves of panic. Also, you're in horrible pain, Cannon. <laughs> you are in horrible pain. You did just get, like, kneed in the nuts. <laughs> I'll take a harm. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, and I'll wait, I'll wait for them to come back in after I said, like... And say, get away from her! No, no, it's cool. It's, it's cool. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it, it's... It's Cynthia. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. <laughs> and the little shadow is now, like, holding its head, and it looks like it's crying, but there's no sound <laughs> coming from it. Oleandra, you hear the, like, ugly crying from this poor cheerleader. Mm. Can I, uh, reach out and try to see if I can, like, touch Cynthia's essence and see if it feels different, or...? It feels... Like the growth aura surrounding, but just all the way through. Mm. Oh no! This is really bad milkshake. <laughs> what, what? This is just ice cream. Excuse me. <laughs> There's not even any strings in here. I don't really. Huh? Like, no, listen. Cannon has been weird for months. Ever since you went weird after I, well, you know, and almost killed you. I've been trying to figure it out, but she feels like that, but super, like, ultra-turbo bad milkshake time. I... You know what? Cynthia... I'm sorry, I have to write that down. <laughs> super turbo ultra bad milkshake time. <laughs> <laughs> Cynthia, where's the book? I'm... I don't think I should tell you what I did with it. I think I need to know. I I it's think you both. Look at me. Yeah, but you and Sabrina both. It might be the only <laughs> way we can help you guys. It's in my bag. Fox I'm going to put it in the boiler. Nope, that that's a good thing we got here in time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still holding and try to reach in and grab the book because I'm dumb. Oh. You feel like static on fingers as you get close to it. It doesn't throw you, but it is uncomfortable to hold. Maya, this is super buzzy. So, um, can I be walking back into the room at this point? <laughs> Limping? Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do I recognize the book she's holding? One more time. Do I recognize the book she's holding as one from the library? Or my library? My dad's library? You do recognize the book. And you also recognize it as the brief glimpse of sketch you got from Alejandra's book before it flipped you off. That is a book that your father had under lock and key in your study. He's gonna yell, What is that doing here? Oh, wow. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> The shadow Cynthia is going to like run up and start just trying to bang on your chest with its angry little fists. And they're just kind of phasing part way through you. It's like being punched by static. Oh. That feels weird. Well, your is fine, no thanks to you. And she's gonna like smack at your face and it's just gonna like pass against <laughs> you like smoke. Huh. I'm guessing she's not, though. No. No, oh. she's... No, she feels like you, but worse. Your name is in the book. 
my name. At least your last name. Okay, that's not as specific. Um, we, that should not be here. Do you uh, know what it no, is? Put that back down. What you know it? It yeah, it's from my dad's library, and that's one of the books he said I should never handle or touch. Huh? Kind of like the one you gave to Alejandra. Then how did this one? In my library, and quite frankly, it's not in the library. I'm a little bit more curious about it. Is Brina related to you? Uh, so Brina is not related to you. No, no. Huh. Don't believe so. Super weird. She must be even better than you at breaking an energy. Or someone goes first. Mm-hmm. I don't. I gave it to her. My dad? <laughs> I don't know. Can I open the book? <laughs> Roll plus tough. Okay. That's not great. <laughs> oh. Uh, tough. That's alright, mine. Okay. Can I protect her from that? Or, or protect yeah. someone? You wouldn't know how to protect someone from this. This book has been in chains your entire life. Mm. Aurelia, oh, you try to pry the book open and it is so heavy. And the static starts like burning at the ends of your fingers. I see. <laughs> And it, it hurts and it doesn't want to open. But you do force it finally. And it creaks and groans like old wood when you do. And all over the pages are just scribbled names in various kinds of ink. You see like old India ink scratched in like cursive. You see ballpoint pen that's kind of given out a little bit in the middle. You see glitter gel pen and sharpie and just a bunch of names. It's like a yearbook out of hell. They're all like overlapping each other and all that's on them are the names and things that they wanted. Oh. Like a glitter gel pen. You see Cynthia's name. Cynthia Jespers. And Cynthia wanted to be flexible. Oh, poor kid. Yeah, for better flexibility and expensive scrunchies. And on the very bottom, she asked, like, the very last bullet point she wrote in her sparkly blue glitter gel pen was Seth. Mm-hmm. And, then, and then there was a scorch mark towards the, towards the bottom of the paper. And you see similar lists all across the pages, matching all of the handwritings. It starts out simple. One just asked for $100. One asked for better grade. Do I see anything that looks like Sabrina's handwriting? You do. And it's just a Sharpie. Probably something she had on hand. And most heartbreakingly, none of the things she wished for were for her. Um. In Sabrina's handwriting, you see one wish for Raul's grandmother to get better. <laughs> one underneath that for Alejandra to come back to the cheer team. And then one underneath that that just says sleep. Oh. And it looks like she was interrupted. But the longer the lists, it's just a bunch of, like, simple things, like an easier day for the library, or she even, it looks like, was met with time a little bit. Like, go back to Wednesday, or 
but she was writing a lot of things over a while. She, she wrote a lot of things. I mean, they obviously don't all come true, though. We don't know that. Did I go back to the cheer team? I guess not. Hmm. Would you have gone back to the cheer team? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if the voices, you know. You should be a cheerleader. <laughs> there are right. there are scorch marks on the bottom of that page as well. Hmm. Hey, Cannon, what did you say about that demon before? That it was like a demon of greed or something? Yes. Huh. Demon of greed, uh, cursed. Is there anything you can do about them? How do you how do you repair a demon of greed? Um. Should I roll for that? Because I don't know. Yes. Maybe you should. Uh, roll. As roll I say, this might be the mystery one. Either two, right? I don't know if that counts. Yeah. So investigate a mystery, but add your weird instead of your sharp, and I will count that as like your eclectic knowledge. My weird instead of my sharp. Yes. So do I still? Uh, do I still get the uh, lore library thing from it, or probably not? Oh, um, you know, I'll give you the lore library. Okay. And oh yeah, I have zero weird, so that's the straight roll. None. Okay. Nine. Okay. You have a couple questions. Uh, Ask away. Can I, can I heal her? But then, is there something that can be done to heal her? Or curse her? There is something that can be done to remove the curse. So that's, is that three? Yeah, no, that's just three or two? It's three. Oh. Mm. Don't have to do curse. Uh, Would I have to get my dad involved? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a time limit for it? Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. The time limit on a cursed individual is three months. How long has it been since she vanished? It has been two weeks. Oh. Okay. We got all kinds of time. <laughs> <laughs> See, the time tables are incredibly forgiving. If you know what you're looking for, mm. most people don't. Okay. Well, and right. Cynthia, at this point, is going to uh, look back to you, Alejandra, and still sniffling in your mind, say, she called it the dream journal. It wasn't a sketchbook. I was lying. Yeah, I wish you hadn't done that. She, she showed me once that whatever she wrote down in it, it could, it could do. She just wanted to make people feel better. Yeah, I know. Uh, we gotta figure out how to get you back to normal, kid. I'll get on a call with my dad. <laughs> Are you just calling him right now from the boiler room? I you mean, have no service in the boiler room. Yeah, I'm gonna go back upstairs. <laughs> is the book still buzzing in my hands, or did that stop? Yes, it oh, is. Still, oh. At this point, it's like shocking you to hold. Zap, zap, zap. <laughs> its contract with Cynthia is not done yet, and you holding it is pissing it off. Can I hold it? You can try. Maybe, maybe, right. maybe you should call your dad. Yeah, maybe you should call your dad first. But okay, I'm gonna have to go upstairs. I'm gonna yeah. put that book down. I'm gonna close it and put it back in her bag. Cannon, yeah. as you as you leave the boiler room, you look back to the wall. Where the wall was. Oh no. There is an open archway. How do the voices react? Are they reacting? The voices are whispering. 
cool. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Without a word. <laughs> I'm just gonna... <laughs> Cynthia and be like, we'll be back. <laughs> you have some clock time. I'll leave this one with you. Make sure to hide that bag. <laughs> no, I have the bag. Yeah, maybe we can hold on to that. It's like, I'm going to ignore the archway for now. <laughs> the tugging in your chest gets violent. And you lurch back towards the archway. You cannot pass this arch. Fine, then. I'm going to give uh, Earlier my phone and tell her to call my dad and tell him that he found the... Or, what color is the book? Leather. Oh, leather bound. It's just brown leather. With a buckle. Can I walk past the archway and up the stairs? Yes, you can pass the archway with ease. Right, then I will go up there and I'll... Just be like, okay, stay there, I guess, and call his dad. Tell him to the other book. What is your dad named as in your phone? Dad. <laughs> yeah. Dad. Doug. Doug. <laughs> Doug. 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 <laughs> Wasn't that his name? Uh, Henry. <laughs> Henry Foxglove. It's so much funnier if your dad's name is Doug in your phone, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, I probably have it like, Dad. Com, or, comma, Doug, or his name, comma, or and comma. Okay. I will push that in call. All right. Not comma, parentheses. We knew what you meant. Uh, you it takes do. a little bit, but the uh, very warm voice of Henry Foxglove answers after a minute. <clears throat> What's going on, Cannon? You staying out of trouble, kid? Hello, Mr. Foxglove. You're not my son. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck happened to my son? Hi, this is Aurelia. Um, things are a little weird right now, and he is trapped by an archway down in the boiler room, and he can't come upstairs to talk to you, but he wanted to call you because we found a book that has the Fox Club name in it, and, like, it's super weird. It's like a dream journal, I guess, or something, and, like... There's a shadow person in the basement also, and she it tastes like super weird milkshake, but, um, yeah, I just, yeah, I just wanted to let you know, and, cause he was gonna call you, right, like, he's not, he's not putting this off onto me because he didn't want to talk to you. <laughs> yeah. He's just, can't. He yep, just can't, cause there's an archway, and it, like, it won't let him pass. Yeah, and there's well, no nervous downstairs. You know, roll 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 it back a little bit there for me, uh for me, sweetheart. Uh, did the uh the dream journal you found, did it happen to be uh like a weird kind of leather? Yeah, it's leather and there's like names inside and, and the buckle. Uh yeah, there's a buckle. Okay, uh don't open that again. Okay. Uh I'm on my way. Don't touch it. Oh, sure. Yeah, no, I already did, but... <laughs> oh, yeah, cool. Don't, 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 don't touch it anymore. Okay, there's also a shadow girl, and she was writing in it, and now she's a shadow girl. And we think someone else was writing in it, and now she's a bone demon. Um, and Cannon is trapped in the basement, so... <laughs> uh, yeah, I can, um... I'm in the city at the moment, but I can be there in about an hour. Uh, maybe, uh... Uh, maybe use your fancy little, uh, magic powers to, uh, stop my son from being eaten by a dark archway in a basement? Please. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna convince him to be in my dark archway in the basement. Uh, got <laughs> archway that's uh stopping him. It, I think it wants to eat him. Don't let that happen. Sure. Yeah. No. I won't let it happen. Oh, you're a doll. Thanks. I'll be there as soon as. Yeah. <laughs> I love dad. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> I will hang up the phone and walk back downstairs and hand him the phone and say. So your dad's on his way, he's in the city, he'll be here in an hour. He's well, no, no, this happens if, uh, Ayla, or Alandra, Alandra decides, uh, if they want to try to make me go into the <laughs> arch. Yeah, I mean, while, while you were on the phone conversation, I wasn't being oh, the best. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so what do you do? It depends. Well, well, no, I'll, I'll catch up to Cam, to Cannon at the archway. Because, as far as I know, I, I don't know that he's getting a tugging sensation. Yeah, the voices are 
begging you to take him down that archway. What do you think's down there? I don't know. It's, uh, might be the library. It might not be. It might be something that, uh, might be something else. It might be something worse than what we're doing right now. Should we check it out? I kind of don't want to at the moment. I'm going to go check it out. (laughs) (laughs) The tugging sensation would get even worse with Alondra going ahead of you. Can I even hold You cannot resist it anymore. You cannot resist it anymore, and you are dragged into step with Alondra. Nice. (laughs) Nice. (laughs) I figured something like that would happen. (laughs) Either I get shoved in there, or something like this stuff. Do I see them going in the tunnel, or have they... You don't. You you get off the phone conversation, come down, and they are no longer by the archway. They are not in the boiler room. Ah, shit. The archway is still there, but it smells really bad, and you don't want to go down there. Okay. Hey, I'll just start yelling. Do we hear her? Like how far down? Do, do we hear the echo or? You do not. That's coming. <laughs> Very reminiscent of the uh, the quiet voice from your head. Sweet. <laughs> the sound just stops. You can't even hear your footsteps. Oh boy. And you come to a door. <laughs> a heavy wood door, metal circle in the center. Uh, from my moves, since uh, earlier uh, called my dad for me, uh, I have often right. Would I get experience from that? Or uh, read that one off to me. When a hunter comes to you for advice about a problem, give them your honest opinion and advice. If they take your advice, they get plus one ongoing uh, or following your advice. I and- I wouldn't say that this was her coming to you for advice. You handed her your phone and said, call my dad. Okay. So. Uh, so, no. No no experience from that one. Right. Um, but you two are staring at this door that reasonably you should be able to see in the dark. It's a door that is perfectly lit, sitting in the pitch darkness. There is no door handle. There is only the circle at about chest height for you, Alondra, in the center of the door. And it's got five little divots around it. Yeah. And the voice in your head that, Canon, you now hear too. It kind of echoes in this... It's still quiet, but it's bouncing off of everything, and it says, give, get. Do I have anything to give? Like, is there anything in my bag? Ooh, this is where this game needs a morality system. (laughs) You get the feeling feeling that uh, you need to match something to the divots in the door. Five of them. Hmm. Five divots. Oh, man. Oh, man. What do I do? After they don't come back for a while, can I enter the archway or does it not let me? Roll plus weird to see if you can get in. Okay. Oh no. No, no. I don't. Is it gonna kill you? <laughs> I mean, like, it's, <laughs> it's gonna kill you, right? <laughs> I mean. What was that roll? Six total. Six total? You can't get in. You try, and then the smell hits you again, and you're like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Your willpower can only push you so far. Okay. Uh. You're up guys. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are gosh. you doing? <laughs> I'm just looking at the door, and, like, what does it want? Is it, like... The voice like again. The voice again. Give to get. Mm. <laughs> My hand. And I'll just kind of like 
think and I'm like, are you going to take his hand? You get no. Oh, God, of course I did. Cannon, are you going to put your hand against the door? Because I keep seeing you reach like that, and I'm wondering if that's Cannon reaching for the door. Yeah, it's kind of like... <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, yeah, no. <laughs> oh god! That's what's going on. <laughs> yeah, that's where that's where I'm at right now. Andre, <laughs> make a make a roll plus weird for me. Uh, that's a ten. A ten? Yeah. Okay. You feel your own hands tug forward. Oh, I can use my you, hand. No, you're trying to like your hands are drawn to Cannon's back, and you. You almost shove him into the door. And all you can think about, all that's running through your head, is that he bound you to an evil book because he wanted to see what would happen. And that rage, that, that vitriol, that sheer betrayal boils up in your heart. You choke it back and you all your hands up, grab your crutch again, and smack him on the back. You just, you hold it back. You realize that it wasn't your thoughts. It was the voices mixed together. But it felt so natural. It does. So right to be part of that conversation. Oh, it does. (laughs) (laughs) This book is reaching out into the game, guys. (laughs) I think it it won't let you forget how it felt when you found out. That he betrayed you. Yeah, I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna turn him, and I'll, I'll be straight up. I think it wants you. Right. Uh, you don't think I'll lose my hand, do you? I have no idea. To be one hundred percent honest with you, but I think you would know since the thing from earlier. Nope. <laughs> Oh no, this is me talking to you. <laughs> no, I, I don't know. I, even me, I'm still not 100% sure, but I, I have a pretty good idea, yeah. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, wasn't me. <laughs> I see nothing. <laughs> I like the little dinosaur, though. That's cute. It's pacing. I, mean, I got nothing. I can only do this. There's only one way to move forward in this. Let's lose my hand. <laughs> oh, we don't know if you're going to lose your hand. <laughs> you could lose something else. Like your mind. Are you going to put your hand against the door? I mean, we can't get out of here. <laughs> Have you tried getting out? Is that a yes? We haven't tried yet. <laughs> um, well, try getting out first. You'll try getting out Oh, you're going to run? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I need you to make a roll plus tough, and Alondra, I need you to make a roll plus weird. Yeah. <laughs> That is a oh. nine for me. I got a seven. Yeah, it's a nine for me. Okay. You break away from the tugging sensation, this feeling that has been dragging you towards this door, like a fish on a line. You pull yourself free. You take a breath unrestricted for the first time in what feels like days. And you turn to run, and you get a crutch to the stomach. Oh. <sighs> Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That that that, that wasn't me. That was <laughs> Alondra, your arm jerks again, and you hit him again and knock the breath out of. That that one might have been me. <laughs> <laughs> there was some me in there. The darkness around you vibrates. Give to get. I'm basically guessing I'm going to be forced to use this by Alondra. I don't know. I can I can try and resist it, but I'm trying to figure out how much I'm going to resist it. That's the thing. Like, I'm, I'm walking that fine line. <laughs> like, Alondra, do you want to resist letting the book take over? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, what about a half-hearted attempt? You can say you tried. <laughs> Leia, do you want to try getting in again? Because yes. now you're hearing sounds of a struggle. Yes, I want to try again. <laughs> what do I roll again? That is a plus tough. 
<sighs> no, we'll make it plus weird because it's a magical effect. Okay. I will do something in this time. I will tell. I'll, I'll tell. I'll tell him that he needs to stand up. Eleven. Okay. You force your way into the soupy darkness. And it's gross. It feels like wading through lukewarm old soup. Like, when I say soupy, I mean it smells like all those old cup of soups you've eaten. Like, <laughs> the, the really salty bit of broth left at the bottom of every cup, but if somebody dumped it into a hallway. Oh, this is gross. I need to change my diet. <laughs> <laughs> and I will eat my way through going, ew, ew, ew. And it you a while but you can you can kind of see something at the end of it I would have and so, so you're gonna shove your way forward Alondra Cannon what are you doing I I tell Cannon to stand up and then do you stand up sure and I'm going to literally roll a die to figure out what I do next. So even I have one idea, odd I have another. Um. Ooh. Okay, I will try and resist. We'll try and resist. All right, roll plus weird for me one more time. That is a eight. An eight. Oh, it's an eight. Your crutch comes up again, and it aimed straight for Cannon's head. And you're so, you're so close. The rubber stop taps his jaw. You pull it back, slam it back into the floor. You lean into it, breathe. And you've got control of yourself. You're, you're you. And then the other crutch flies out, hits him in the stomach, and bashes him against the door. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to touch it myself. You <laughs> counter this for even. As your hand hits the circle, your fingers are almost like forced to align with the divots in the circle. And the circle sucks backwards and you you're barely touching it. Like you you didn't want to do this. You were worried about this. It draws your hand forward to the wrist. And there is a slicing noise. <laughs> and you can't feel the circle anymore. Oh, God. And you feel a searing, burning agony mm -hmm. shoot up your arm. Ah. <laughs> That's all we get is an mm. Oh, my your God. hand is gone. This is going to be a scream. The dominant is gone. Oh, I thought it was my left hand. Nope, it was your <laughs> dominant hand. I guess my, my left hand is my dominant hand now. Why What's that? You get there just in time to see a door eat Cannon's hand. Is he bleeding or is it... <laughs> yeah, I'm screaming and I'm bleeding has, probably. It has I've cauterized. Like one or two oh. arms. Oh. You have taken two harm from losing a hand, but the wound did cauterize. I will scream. What? That's fair. What I am did... unstable. You're unstable. <laughs> oh my god. What is, what is, what's no. going on in my head? <laughs> what's... The voices are all just... It, as one they go, yes! <laughs> and the door opens. And Alondra, it feels like coming home. Oh no. Chapter 8. <laughs> Foreclosure. Hey. Oh, there was a thing. Oh, that's weird. I've been looking. I've been looking at for, for so long. <laughs> I'd like my right hand or my left hand back. <laughs> Perhaps it's somewhere in this library. <laughs> The door opened, Alondra felt like she had finally come home, and the book in the bag that you are carrying, Arlea, surges forward and drags you with it through the open doorway into a library. All right. Neat rows of 
bookshelves stuffed with books more more than you've seen in a private library in a long time there's there's too many to for the shelves to even contain some are scattered on the floor and it feels so loved there's an air of fond comfort for you here alondra there's an open book on a desk, angled like a writing desk next to a loved velvet couch. And the book from Cynthia's bag flies out and settles itself atop the open book. And it, all of the various inks start seeping out of it into this other book. Oh. Guys, I think we just doomed everyone else. Yeah. Well, this is bad. And there's... There's a... There's a voice that all of you... The voice that all of you hear. (laughs) Says, Welcome home, Alondra. Don't go and stare at her. I would like to stare to... Whatever I... I mean, I, I don't know where the voice come from. The open book on the pulpit rises up, and you see that gold and red little bastard that bit your hand a week ago, Cannon. Mm -hmm. The book from your sanctuary is here and open. Hmm. And it turns onto its side, and it starts talking in this sweet woman's voice. We've been waiting for so long, Alondra. And Alondra, you recognize this as one of the seven voices from your head. Okay. The book flips upside down and the lights dim a little bit in the area. And the quiet voice this time says, We're sorry it had to get so violent, but you wouldn't come of your own accord. It was going to get violent anyway, wasn't it? (laughs) It flips again and the book barks at you. Is one of them a dog? Yes, one of them is a dog. How did a dog write in the book? (laughs) What did he wish for? (laughs) This one was not the dream journal. This one was the crown book. Right, right. The one we stole. I know. And Um, that one was another magician's happy little accident. That dog caused a lot of chaos. Hmm. All of the voices in their own way greet you, and the book flies around you and plants gentle kisses to the top of your head like like a mother missed their daughter. I... I... What did you want? Why did you... Why did... Why did you take his hand? Well, because we don't like... Oh. <laughs> and the sacrifice has to be made to get back to the library. That's... What about the book? You have book. Hmm? Are we all hearing this still? Yes. The book is speaking out loud. Is this the library? Yes. Okay. Welcome, Aurelia, to the Library of Souls. Oh no, that's... That sounds like a great place for... Mm-hmm. And, Canon, you look around and you start to notice that the, uh, books don't have titles on the spines, just Names. Mm-hmm. Oh no. There's a books. You see see a fairly new book on the ground next to one of the shelves near the nearest the door. A pale blue binding and a cream lettering that says Sabrina Hawthorne. I thought so. The Library of Souls. I don't know. I don't know what to do in this place, do You set us free to continue our collection, Alondra. Hmm. I didn't do a dang thing. (laughs) That's beside the point. You are bound as a keeper of this place now. Oh no. Your chapter will be written in the end of our book, and we will guide another together. And the library will grow and grow 
and grow and grow. And as it says this, the bookshelves start growing teeth. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. I don't have a lot to talk about. I'm just gonna go. The stairs disappear as you try to climb them, Cannon. Can I go over and grab Cynthia's book and open it? Yes, you can. Okay, I'll do that. And you see, there's only one thing on the pages, and it is a sketch of Cynthia. Absolutely terrified and turning into the deer monster. Oh, no. Sabrina. Sabrina in her nightgown, kneeling on the floor of her dorm as her hands elongate into scythe-ended claws. Oh. I'm going to stand up and radiate my emotions out to the entirety of the library and just try to fling rage at them and say, why would you do this to her? She Roll. was so nice. <laughs> Roll use magic. Okay. <laughs> no. Okay, that's all right, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I can't do very much. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna be. I'm fighting my patron. That's not good. That's never a good sign. Twelve. Well, mm-hmm. Okay. What are you hoping to do? Are you just trying to intimidate, or are you trying to hurt the library? I'm trying to intimidate it. Intimidate it. The shelves wobble a bit at your outburst, and there's. There's a bit of a discomfort to the homey feeling that Alondra, you've been feeling this entire time. You're having a hard time feeling anything but comfortable in this room. It's quiet, secluded. I don't feel, do I feel like my human emotion? Like I'm not scared at all? The fact that it just said I'm gonna, okay, cool. (laughs) This is where I live now, guys. (laughs) You are, there's a little alarm bell in the back of your head at maybe just how cool you are with this. Alright. <laughs> well, yeah, this is chill. I'm probably gonna die here. Yeah, you will. But <laughs> I will too, but... The book comes over to you, Arlia. Uh, and... And starts just in one of the whispery voices that Alondra remembers. One of the quieter ones. It starts whispering in your ear. Flip through more pages. Even kindness can be greedy. We don't change what humans do. We never have. Demons only tempt. We give her the ability to change things. We give a wish. And they take more. More and more. There is a trade for every good deed. Our powers are limited. Raoul's grandmother getting better. And a heart transplant from someone else who had to die. Mm-hmm. Resetting clock to Wednesday. That was a feat. No one made the same choices that Wednesday that they had the first time. Things changed irrevocably. Things always change. We tried to return Alondra to them as well. No matter what the request, we tried to fulfill. But Alondra cannot be affected by us anymore. But I'm comfortable. We, we can only change soul. Alondra's soul is already ours. I will flip through the book tentatively, like it told me to do. <laughs> <laughs> Intimidated. Every page, their copy of the wish that Sabrina made, and the consequence that it wrought. Hmm. 
Cannon deserved what he got to get in here. So hungry for knowledge, so eager to know. Poking around where he didn't belong. Greedy, greedy, greedy little human. All we ask is a pound of flesh. If to get. Now you have all the knowledge in the world, Canon Foxglove. Was it worth it? The trail of the only friend you've ever had? The loss of trust of your family? The one you love? The one who loves you, despite it all? Finally seeing you. Yeah, you're getting kind of awful. <laughs> I know I have been. Was it worth it? Yes. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, yes. The books on the floor are going to start rising. And each of them grows teeth. And they are going to attack you. Okay. <laughs> I need you to roll plus cool to see if you can dodge them. Alright. <laughs> oh my gosh. Would this be act under pressure? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yes, I can use my plus sharp instead. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Okay. That's a seven total. A one and a four plus two. Yeah. Sorry, what was that total? Seven. Seven. You duck just in time to miss the one that's going for your throat. Another one kind of misjudges exactly where your head is. You're so much taller than they're used to. Mm -hmm. One does meant to latch onto your shoulder, and it just starts gnawing. You take another harm. Just one, or? Just one. Okay. Arlea, what are you going to do? I don't know. <laughs> Vampires or something. Um, <laughs> I will... I will close my eyes and set Cynthia or Sabrina's book down and close my eyes and reach out my hands and try and probably fail to do the thing my mom did or does where she changes the mood of a whole bunch of people. Okay. Huh? Well, roll plus week for me. Okay. Okay. Eleven again. Nice. What mood are you trying to change? Their bloodthirstiness to calmness. Calming? Yeah. And try and calm down the angry books? Yeah. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Them drop right back to where they were on the floor, and the red book tips at you curiously. Even now, you protect him. I mean, he's a dick, yeah. But he shouldn't get his face ripped off by a book. Could you prefer something else? I can do that. Uh, I mean, he already gave you a hand. Where's my... I'm a eunuch. Where's my human... thought right now? Your human thoughts? Am I still too comfortable? Am I more aware? I think you're more aware now that the book's just tried... Piranha cannon. <laughs> okay, then yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll be like, you have your pound of flesh, let him go. They all come back eventually. He wants too much. Oh, maybe he what will. Does he, what does he want? To know. Humans aren't supposed to know as much as he does. Oh, he only has he two hands. Do I know? I should know better. <laughs> you should know better is what you should know. <laughs> Humans always dig where they're not needed. 
humans are the bottom of this food chain. And yet there are those who are arrogant enough to pull back the curtain. To think they have a right to the knowledge that doesn't do them any good. I will walk over to Cannon and touch his bloody shoulder, just a, just a pat, and say, um... No, I'm not exactly human, but I know more than most people do. I didn't ask for it, but I still seek it out. I still use it. Is that any different than seeking knowledge from books? You are not bottom of this food chain. You come from a long, long line of devourers, my dear. You are the only reason that we got a foothold in Alandra. Oh, shit. Oh, oh no. from... Oh. oh God. From almost her being killed, okay. The weakened state of her soul let us bind so deeply. A fresh chapter. The eighth chapter. What are you? What's the top of the food chain? I am death. Death is a book. Death is a book. Yeah. And death has a library. And death will claim you all. I didn't already know that, but okay. <laughs> and at that, the, uh, the little ribbon bookmark from this glitzy, sparkly tome Wraps around your neck, Arlea. I'm gonna die. I, um... You take two harm. Okay. As it starts to constrict. Can I protect her if I go? Act under pressure. I'm oh. going to... I'm going to... I'm gonna say... Mm-hmm. Again, I'll, I'll say... That's eight for me. Okay. I'll say chapter eight's here. Let him go. And then I will attempt to use big magic. Ooh. Okay. What would you, what would you like big magic to do? I want to remove them from the library. I'll stay. No. Okay. Roll plus weird for me. I will burn a lucky. Yeah. Okay. Twelve. Burning a luck makes an automatic twelve. Our land <laughs> you yourself deposited into the center of the waist high hedge maze. Hmm. It's a blink, and you're suddenly a foot above the ground, and you both drop on your ass. Hmm. And then you are still bleeding and still missing a hand. Our you have fresh, dark bruises around your throat from where the ribbon was trying to basically pop your head off. Hmm. <laughs> And you also hear sirens and see flashing red and blue lights. And there are shattered windows in the cafeteria of the school. (laughs) All of them. All of them? Wow. There is broken glass glittering everywhere. You don't see any dupes. Hmm. I maybe <laughs> maybe <laughs> you hear the screech sound that that deer monster made from somewhere inside the school and then you hear more screaming that you recognize as what's left of the cheer team oh god well I thought that's it was a good idea <laughs> I thought we were going to make it right <laughs> <laughs> we're going to bring him right to her <laughs> Uh-huh. Bad. I'm gonna have to play more of this game. Yeah. <laughs> Things are bad. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, gonna have to... I guess I'll hobble inside. Try to help anything. If I can. What are you gonna do, Arlea? I will... I will reach out my energy field and try to find uh, Sabrina's energy. 
and go to her. I'll go and grab my shotgun. <laughs> okay. It all comes around. Uh, Sabrina's panicked <laughs> energy is shotgun. swirling in the gym. And you feel a few other spikes of panic in the gym. She seems to have cornered a few people. Okay. I will walk towards her and say, Sabrina! <laughs> How are you, babe? Hey! Hon, you look great. (laughs) Beer Skull swings towards you in this jerky, almost like broken doll movement. And the hollow sockets fix on you. And her shoulders slump with relief, and she makes that awful noise again and gestures to herself. (laughs) I see! You have been... Like, you need a makeover. Um... (laughs) <laughs> I, I figured out what was going on. So don't you're not hurting anyone, right? Like just a, okay, okay. And as she shakes her massive antlers, the girls behind her scream again. <laughs> okay, okay, it's okay, it's Sabrina. <laughs> Sabrina. Um so we're in the gym? Yes, you are in the gym. I go in the storage closet and pull out the the chalk stuff that they use to mark the field. Yes. Okay, I will go and wheel it over to her and say, okay, if you want to say anything to me, you can write it with this thing, right? You have hands, kind of. Yeah, yeah. So it's okay. It's all right. All She's good. going <laughs> to clumsily grab for the chalk thing and write book. With a question mark. Wow, we found the book, and then the book kind of took over my cousin, and then uh, kind of took us to an evil library where death lives, and then my cousin kind of evaporated us away from it, and I don't know what's happening now. I also know what you did, because I looked in your book, and I mean, I get, I like, you're super sweet, that's really nice of you, but <laughs> you know done that because there's a lot of harm that happens with magics yeah she looks confused tips her head scratches at the at the skeleton head a little bit and writes i can fix it though okay how she points to a book she's not really understanding (laughs) the backlash of magic Okay, okay. Oh no, you mean use the book? Oh no, that's super not <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, not a good idea. That's how we got here. Yeah, no, no. Super not a good idea. Let me, okay. Um, so you know how it's magic, right? Yeah, okay. Like, I saw that you wished for Raoul's grandma to get better from her heart disease. Um, and she got a heart transplant and that's great. Uh, and he was super happy, and that's awesome, right? But, like, um, like, hearts don't just appear in the world. They're <laughs> living people. <laughs> um, like, you get a heart transplant when people die. So, you kind of killed someone. Just like someone else. Grandma. She uh-huh. makes that awful screeching noise again, and the rest of the cheerleaders all start, like, one of them is just crying. <laughs> <laughs> they have no idea what's happening, and they don't understand why you're so calm. And why it's not attacking you, and anything. And now it's suddenly riding around. Riding <laughs> Can I try to calm them down with my magic just to get them to stop yelling? Yeah, ro- roll for it. Okay. While this is happening, Alondra, are you accepting the Library of Souls? Just eight. <laughs> I yet yes and no. I I I don't want to end early, but I have to my I have to get my dad food, um, uh-huh. so that he can take his medication. But I do want to have a conversation with this book. <laughs> okay. Okay. We will hold off on what you're doing. Great. Great. Um, uh, Kenan, what are you doing with your shotgun, and why did you get it? I would have to, sorry, to interrupt, I'd have to, like, run. Like, I, I have to go pick it up from, like, a fast food place. Yeah, no, it's it's cool. We can wait for you. Okay. Do you want to, like, uh, that may take me, like, an hour is what I'm getting at. Ah. Uh, 
So oh, I mean, I was really I, hoping to just keep this to a one shot this time. I know, I know. <laughs> but if it makes it easier, I mean, I the book I may be end up being devoured by the book. If you guys want to play out the rest, or um, probably not going to be. We have Guardian for it now. Can probably pick it up next time if everyone's not. Like, if people can't play next Sunday, we can play next Sunday, or maybe we can play on a Saturday, or yeah, and we're all free. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Got this close this time. God damn it. I know. I know. I yeah. But. I'm, I'm really, I'm really enjoying this game, and that's why it's like I, I want to actually play it through. Like, so, I'm playing as a bastard, and I need to probably die. My pet will probably die. Or redeem yourself. How much of a bastard he turned into, like immediately. You kind of deserved it. Yeah, yeah. It's like. Why the hell am I in love with you again? But you, you got to be a really cool redeemer kind of character, which is kind of like. Or you can shoot Sabrina as what I think you're about to. Like, <laughs> well, you never I'm know. So, I'm so curious. Going to happen. I don't like you anymore. <laughs> Shot the head cheerleader. Now we can't go to finals. <laughs> <laughs> Our whole routine is I know off. Finals are coming up, but like, look at Sabrina. She can lift like all of us now. <laughs> we'll just hang off for like a Christmas tree. <laughs> so good. <laughs> No, I'm going back down to the boiler room. Okay. You're going it's back like, down? Don't oh my go God. back down. Okay. You're going to have no one, one, one hand left, Cabrero. How are you going to use your rifle? <laughs> this is smelly. I don't know what else it can want. Dang. Dang. All right. All right. All right. That's All sick. Right. <laughs> that was fun, guys. Thanks. Absolutely. Thank you. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I thought going to just have the books eat you all. <laughs> <laughs> I figured that's what's going to happen to me in the end anyway. So I, I was like, I can get them out of here. Like, I mean, you haven't really tried to resist aside from just stopping Cannon from using the door. Yeah, but that makes somewhat sense. I mean, that now, no. I, I will say that every time you gave in or like conversed with the voices, I made the DC a little bit higher to uh, resist them. Yeah. But that makes sense. I mean, like, it's... I, I But ne it took that moment for me to pivot, and that's what... That seems realistic. That seems it's like, oh... Fair enough. So. All right. Is the DC like 15 now? <laughs> 81. It's a 10. <laughs> like, I, I kept it like super low so that he you would have to absolutely snake eyes for them to take over at any given point. But every time you gave in and asked them questions and, like, used their power, it gave them a little bit more hold on you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That works, I mean. <laughs> it makes sense. I, it's, all, it's all in character. I, I, I have nothing to say. I have nothing to say about it. <laughs> so... One day I will write a one shot that is actually a one shot. Someday. <laughs> so interesting. Then. Yeah. Give her more. A lot of it was waiting on me because I had no idea what to do. Yeah. yeah. And silliness. You can't account for silliness. That's you can true. never account for silliness. It's true. <laughs> All right. Well, go feed your father. I'll oh, go sure. feed myself while I've had today's coffee and chocolate. Oh, no. Yeah, that's and spicy chips. So probably I'm time for you to starving. eat and sleep. So, I'll probably stop by my haven to grab some stuff to heal my hand <laughs> to make it at least stop bleeding. It's not bleeding; it was cauterized. Okay, you're gonna yes. make a functional bionicle arm. <laughs> Your shoulder is bleeding, and I'm sure you can find a hook from any given uh, portrayal of Peter Pan. That you <laughs> I've got a workshop. I've probably got something in there already. It might take you a couple hours to work with, though. You got time. So, yeah, you got time. It's just the yeah, fact of the world. I'm only going to be working on it one-handed with my less dominant hand. It shouldn't take very long. Now, uh, uh, you've done it now. Now I want to make a better version of the Library of Souls. Oh, no. <laughs> Adding things. While we're waiting. Listen, my plot changed halfway through. <laughs> As the best plots do. Oh, my goodness. It was just going to be a horde of cannibalistic books. Well, and exciting. then 
then the more I was like, why would this, like, what would it tempt you with? Like, Demon Book, and then Library of Souls. This is, it's not every soul, it's just the people who gave in to the magic books. Yeah. Makes sense. And these two books are connected somehow. I'm gonna rescue you, my cousin. No, I will, it's cool. I will elaborate. The red book is the, like... It is the keeper of the Library of Souls, so it takes the information from the little book. It's like an angler situation. Voldemort's uh, journal. Uh, it's, it's a piece of it. It's just a piece of the library. It's like a horse of the library. Volume it, 2. <laughs> it sends it out to find things to eat, and one of your ancestors put Foxglove in the cover, so that if anyone ever found it, they would return it to the Foxglove family. Hmm. That didn't happen. It didn't happen because they didn't end up. They didn't anticipate it ending up at a school, like. With children. They figured someone would find this blank journal that says Foxglove in it and be like, "Oh, hey, super prominent family Foxglove that hangs out in this area. Is this your book? I found this book." <laughs> like it was supposed to be a failsafe to bring it back to them when they needed it. Hmm. Or if it ever got out, which it did. Oh, man. Also, Jaden, I would love the recording of this. Oh, absolutely. I will I'll put it in, like, a drive or something and send it to you guys. Hell yeah. So, that way it all fits. So. Alrighty. Well, I'm going to take off then. Yeah, go, go feed your dad. Goodbye, sure. everyone. See you guys. Uh, one day I will write something just interesting enough for a one-shot. <laughs> 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 Mate, it's good. Think about like the the um critical role, the Darien Brigade. You gotta make it just just enough for it's Darien like Darien Brigade. Oh, I love gotta them. Gotta make it just tight enough, but just tight enough. I I almost got there too. Yep. But I love me a monologue. And I love I I just my character got too deep. I fell too much in love with my character for it to be like. <laughs> I fucking adore your characters, all of them. They're so good. They are. I love them. Mine, that's a bastard. Yes, you gotta love a bastard. That's what I loved about the draw. Like, just the, the inner connections. So good. So good. So. And there was some random that's why I wanted to try this system, too, because this is the game that I play human man with a knife. <laughs> <laughs> this system. I, very much like canon, I play as a human man in a party of two magical women. <laughs> Weird how that worked out. Connection to a book. Weird. Uh, Weird. <laughs> that did go a little weird. All right. Well, I'm actually leaving now. Goodbye. Uh, bye. I've got a question though. No. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> based off when I said yes, like it was worth it. It's like, did anyone expect that? I, I did. Did anyone change yeah. anything? I, I kind of expected it. Yeah. To be honest, like I just I was like, yeah, that seems really in character for him, and I like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's correct. Well, either, either way, I was like, okay, he's either going to turn from being a bastard or he's going to just stay on the track. Or he's going to lean harder into it. Yeah. yeah, no, I rolled a die for it. Yeah, I, I, I loved that's it. That made it so funny, just clack, 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 clack. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it just made oh, so much sense. Good. His character made sense. Yeah. And I, all the characters are great. Bye. Bye. See ya. <laughs>